1,500 solved MCQs for all kind of pharmacist jobs, draft drug regulatory authority of Pakistan and government jobs. Our instructions. 1. All of the MCQs have been taken from various relevant sources. Many of the questions may repeat again and again. Kindly tolerate. 2. If you find any kind of error in answers, or you disagree with any of the answers, kindly discuss it in comments given under this video. 3. Do not forget to bring a wristwatch in your real exam to give equal time to all questions. 4. Read each question carefully, once or twice to understand it, then tick the right option. 5. For your other queries, you can talk to us at plus 9232140420036. Majid Body Pharmacist. Farm D. M. Phil. LLB. Vice President, Pakistan Pharmacists Association PPA. Let's start. Question 1. Which organization is responsible for regulating and overseeing the pharmaceutical industry in Pakistan? A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP. B. Pakistan Medical Commission PMC. C. Pakistan Pharmacy Council PPC. D. Federal Investigation Agency FIA. Answer. A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP. Question 2. The primary objective of DRAP is to A. Monitor drug prices in the market. B. Ensure the safety, quality, and efficacy of medicines. C. Promote herbal and alternative medicines. D. Conduct clinical trials for new drugs. Answer. B. Ensure the safety, quality, and efficacy of medicines. Question 3. Which act governs the functioning and operations of DRAP? A. Pakistan Drug Act, 1976. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan Act, 2012. C. Pakistan Pharmacy Act, 1967. D. Drug Import and Export Act, 2002. Answer. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan Act, 2012. Question 4. The process of approving and registering new drugs in Pakistan is called A. Drug Monitoring B. Drug Pricing C. Drug Registration D. Drug Surveillance Answer. C. Drug Registration Question 5. The National Control Laboratory for Biologicals is responsible for a. Testing and analysis of vaccines and biological products. B. Monitoring the safety of medical devices. C. Assessing the quality of herbal medicines. D. Conducting clinical trials for new drugs. Answer. A. Testing and analysis of vaccines and biological products. 6. Which department of DRAP is responsible for issuing licenses to pharmaceutical manufacturers and importers? A. Drug Registration Department B. Drug Pricing Department C. Licensing and Registration Department D. Pharmacovigilance Department Answer. C. Licensing and Registration Department Question 7. The abbreviation, GMP, stands for a good manufacturing practice b good marketing practice c general medication protocol d generic medication policy answer a good manufacturing practice question 8 the process of evaluating the safety and effectiveness of drugs before they are approved for use is called a post marketing surveillance B. Clinical Trials C. Pharmacovigilance D. Drug Pricing Answer. B. Clinical Trials Question 9. Which department of DRAP is responsible for monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions? A. Drug Registration Department B. Drug Pricing Department C. Pharmacovigilance Department
D. Quality Control Department. Answer. C. Pharmacovigilance Department. Question 10. The drug recall system is implemented by DRAP2. A. Monitor the availability of drugs in the market. B. Promote the use of generic drugs. C. Ensure the safety of drugs by removing defective or substandard products from the market. D. Control the prices of essential drugs. Answer. C. Ensure the safety of drugs by removing defective or substandard products from the market. Question 11. Which department of DRAP is responsible for fixing the prices of essential drugs? A. Drug Registration Department. B. Drug Pricing Department. C. Pharmacovigilance Department. D. Quality Control Department. Answer. B. Drug Pricing Department. Question 12. The abbreviation, DRA, stands for A. Drug Regulatory Authority B. Drug Registration Act C. Drug Research and Analysis D. Drug Recall and Administration Answer. A. Drug Regulatory Authority Question 13. The WHO DRAP Joint Initiative for Improving Access to Quality Assured Medicines is known as a. Drug Pricing Initiative B. Essential Medicines Program C. Access to Medicines Campaign D. Regulatory Harmonization Program Answer. D. Regulatory Harmonization Program Question 14. Which of the following is not a function of DRAP? A. Approving clinical trials for new drugs B. Monitoring the advertising and promotion of drugs C. Conducting market surveillance to identify counterfeit medicines. D. Controlling the quality of food products. Answer. D. Controlling the quality of food products. Question 15. The abbreviation, DIN, stands for A. Drug Identification Number B. Drug Import Notification C. Drug Inventory Number D. Drug Information Network Answer. A drug identification number. Question 16. Which department of DRAP is responsible for conducting inspections and audits of pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities? A drug registration department. B. Drug pricing department. C. Licensing and registration department. D. Quality assurance department. Answer. D. Quality Assurance Department. Question 17. The process of granting permission to import drugs into Pakistan is known as A. Drug Registration. B. Drug Pricing. C. Drug Import Notification. D. Drug Inventory Management. Answer. C. Drug Import Notification. Question 18. The abbreviation, PV, stands for a post verification b pharmacovigilance c production validation d pre vaccination answer b pharmacovigilance question 19 which department of drap is responsible for ensuring compliance with good manufacturing practices by pharmaceutical manufacturers a drug registration department b drug pricing department C. Quality Control Department. D. Quality Assurance Department. Answer. D. Quality Assurance Department. 20. The abbreviation, OTC, stands for A. Over the Counter. B. Off Trade Control. C. On Time Compliance. D. Open Trade Certification. Answer. A. Over the Counter. 21 to 41. Question 21. Which of the following organizations is responsible for regulating drugs in Pakistan? A. DRAP. B. WHO. C. FDA. D. EMA. Correct answer. A. DRAP. Question 22. What does the acronym, DRAP, stand for? A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. B. Drug Registration and Approval Program. 
C. Department of Regulatory Affairs and Policy. D. Drug Research and Administration Panel. Correct answer. A Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. Question 23. Which of the following is not a role of DRAP? A. Registration and licensing of pharmaceutical companies. B. Approval of drug manufacturing facilities. C. Pricing of pharmaceutical products. D. Clinical trials oversight. Correct answer. C. Pricing of pharmaceutical products. Question 24. The main purpose of pharmacovigilance is to a. Promote the use of generic drugs. B. Ensure the safety and efficacy of drugs. C. Regulate drug prices. D. Conduct clinical trials. Correct answer. B. Ensure the safety and efficacy of drugs. Question 25. Which document contains detailed information about a drug's safety, efficacy, and manufacturing process? A. Drug Registration Certificate. B. Drug Label. C. Summary of Product Characteristics. D. Package Insert. Correct answer. C. Summary of Product Characteristics. Question 26. The Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan Act was passed in which year? A. 2008. B. 2012. C. 2014. D. 2017. Correct answer. C. 2014. Question 27. Which department of DRAP is responsible for reviewing and approving clinical trial applications? A. Drug Evaluation and Research Department. B. Quality Assurance Department. C. Licensing and Registration Department. D. Pharmacovigilance Department. Correct answer. A. Drug Evaluation and Research Department. Question 28. What is the maximum duration for which a drug can be granted an emergency use authorization in Pakistan? A. 3 months. B. 6 months. C. 9 months. D. 1 year. Correct answer. B. 6 months. Question 29. Which international guideline is used as a reference for good clinical practice GCP in Pakistan? A. IC GCP. B. FDA GCP. C. EMA GCP. D. WHO GCP. Correct answer. A. IC GCP. Question 30. The abbreviation, NOC, in the context of DRAP stands for A. No Objection Certificate. B. Notice of Compliance. C. Non-Official Committee. D. National Oversight Council. Correct answer. A. No Objection Certificate. Question 31. Which of the following drugs requires a prescription for dispensing to patients? A. Over-the-counter drugs. B. Controlled substances. C. Generic drugs. D. Orphan drugs. Correct answer. B. Controlled substances. Question 32. Which department of DRAP is responsible for inspecting and auditing drug manufacturing facilities? A. Quality Assurance Department. B. Drug Evaluation and Research Department. C. Licensing and Registration Department. D. Pharmacovigilance Department. Correct answer. A. Quality Assurance Department. Question 33. The process of granting approval for a new drug in Pakistan is known as A. Drug Registration B. Drug Evaluation C. Drug Licensing D. Drug Validation Correct answer. A. Drug Registration Question 34. Which of the following is not a category of medical devices regulated by DRAP? A. Class 1 B. Class 2. C. Class 3. D. Class 4. Correct answer. D. Class 4. Question 35. The abbreviation, PMDA, stands for 
A Pakistan Medical Device Authority. B. Pharmaceutical Manufacturers and Distributors Association. C. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council. D. Pakistan Medicines and Devices Agency. Correct answer. D. Pakistan Medicines and Devices Agency. Question 36. Which regulatory agency is responsible for ensuring the quality of imported drugs in Pakistan? A Customs Department. B. Federal Investigation Agency, FIA. C. Pakistan Standards and Quality Control Authority, PSQCA. D. DRAP. Correct answer. D. DRAP. Question 37. The maximum penalty for manufacturing or selling counterfeit drugs in Pakistan is a imprisonment for one year. B. Fine of 500,000 Pakistani rupees. C. Imprisonment for five years. D. Fine of 1 million Pakistani rupees. Correct answer. C. Imprisonment for five years. Question 38. Which international pharmacopoeia is used as a reference for drug standards in Pakistan? A. USP. B. B. P. C. E. P. D. J. P. Correct answer. A. USP. Question 39. Which regulatory authority is responsible for approving and regulating clinical trials in Pakistan? A. National Bioethics Committee, NBC. B. National Institute of Health, NIH. C. Pakistan Medical Research Council, PMRC. D. DRAP. Correct answer. D. DRAP. Question 40. What is the maximum duration for which a clinical trial can be approved in Pakistan? A. One year. B. Two years. C. Three years. D. Five years. Correct answer. B. Two years. Question 41. The abbreviation, PMDA, in the context of DRAP stands for A. Pakistan Medical Devices Authority B. Pakistan Medicines and Devices Administration C. Provincial Medicines and Drugs Authority D. Punjab Medical and Dental Association Correct answer. B. Pakistan Medicines and Devices Administration Question 42. What does DRAP stand for? A. Drug Regulation Authority of Pakistan B. Drug Research and Administration Program C. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan Correct answer. D. Drug Research and Approval Process Question 43. Which act established DRAP? A. Drug Act 1976 B. Drug Regulatory Authority Act 2012 Correct answer. C. Drug Control Act 1990 D. Drug Safety and Standards Act 2005 Question 44. Which organization regulates the import and export of drugs in Pakistan? A. Ministry of Health B. Drug Testing Laboratories C. DRAP Correct Answer D. Pakistan Medical Commission Question 45. What is the primary function of DRAP? A. Drug Research and Development B. Drug Manufacturing and Distribution C. Drug Quality Control and Regulation Correct Answer D. Drug Pricing and Reimbursement Question 46. Which of the following is not a responsibility of DRAP? A. Registration and Licensing of Drugs B. Monitoring of Adverse Drug Reactions C. Promotion of Pharmaceutical Marketing D. Control of Drug Advertising and Labeling Correct Answer Question 47. Which department of DRAP is responsible for drug registration? A. Drug Licensing Department B. Drug Evaluation and Registration Department Correct Answer C. Drug Inspection Department D. Drug Pricing Department Question 48. What is the maximum duration of drug patent protection in Pakistan? A. 10 years. B. 15 years. C. 20 years. Correct answer. D. 25 years. 
Question 49. What does the term bioequivalence refer to in drug regulation? At the biological activity of a drug. B. The equivalence of drug prices. C. The equivalence of drug dosage forms. D. The equivalence of drug absorption and availability. Correct answer. Question 50. Which of the following is not a category of registered drugs in Pakistan? A. Allopathic drugs. B. Herbal drugs. C. Unregistered drugs. D. Unani drugs. Correct answer. Question 51. What does the term, generic drug, mean? A. A drug without any active ingredients. B. A drug manufactured by a specific brand. C. A drug marketed under its chemical name. Correct answer. D. A drug used only for specific diseases. Question 52. What is the primary purpose of drug recall? A. To improve drug manufacturing processes. B. To remove unsafe or defective drugs from the market. Correct answer. C. To reduce drug prices. D. To promote generic drug usage. Question 53. What does the term, pharmacovigilance, refer to? A. The study of drug interactions. B. The study of drug efficacy. C. The monitoring and reporting of adverse drug reactions. Correct answer. D. The promotion of herbal medicine. Question 54. What does the term, good manufacturing practices, GMP, signify? Of the quality control of drug manufacturing processes, correct answer. B. The promotion of generic drug usage. C. The marketing and distribution of drugs. D. The regulation of drug prices. Question 55. What is the purpose of a drug master file, DMF? A. To provide information about drug safety and efficacy. B. To register a drug with DRAP. C. To provide confidential information to support a drug application. Correct answer. D. To conduct clinical trials for a new drug. Question 56. What does the term, pharmaceutical equivalence, mean? A. The therapeutic equivalence of different drugs. B. The physical equivalence of different drug formulations. Correct answer. C. The equivalence of drug pricing. D. The bioequivalence of different drugs. Question 57. Which department of DRAP is responsible for conducting drug inspections? A. Drug Licensing Department. B. Drug Evaluation and Registration Department. C. Drug Inspection Department. Correct answer. D. Drug Pricing Department. Question 58. What does the term, off-label use, mean? At the illegal distribution of drugs. B. The use of drugs without a prescription. C. The use of drugs for a purpose not approved by DRAP. Correct answer. D. The use of expired drugs. Question 59. Which organization grants a manufacturing license to drug manufacturers in Pakistan? A. Ministry of Health. B. DRAP. Correct answer. C. Pakistan Medical Commission. D. Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Association. Question 60. What is the primary objective of post-marketing surveillance? A. To assess the therapeutic efficacy of drugs. B. To monitor the safety of drugs in the market. Correct answer. C. To promote generic drug usage. D. To enforce drug patent protection. Question 61. Which department of DRAP is responsible for drug pricing? A. Drug Licensing Department. B. Drug Evaluation and Registration Department. C. Drug Inspection Department. D. Drug Pricing Department. Correct answer. Question 62. What is the primary responsibility of the drug testing laboratories in Pakistan? A. Drug Manufacturing Quality Control. B. Drug Pricing Control. C. Drug Quality Control and Analysis. Correct answer. 
D. Drug Patent Protection. Question 63. Which authority oversees the clinical trials of new drugs in Pakistan? A. Ministry of Health. B. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council. C. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. Drap correct answer. D. Pakistan Medical Commission. Question 64. Which of the following is not a category of controlled substances in Pakistan? A. Narcotics. B. Psychotropic substances. C. Over-the-counter drugs. Correct answer. D. Precursor chemicals. Question 65. What does the term, pharmaceutical dosage form, refer to? A. The concentration of active ingredients in a drug. B. The root of drug administration. C. The physical form in which a drug is presented. Correct answer. D. The chemical structure of a drug. Question 66. What is the purpose of a stability study in drug manufacturing? A. To determine the shelf life of a drug. Correct answer. B. To assess the therapeutic efficacy of a drug. C. To evaluate the bioavailability of a drug. D. To monitor adverse drug reactions. Question 67. Which act governs the pricing and availability of essential drugs in Pakistan? A. Drug Pricing Control Act. B. Drug Import and Export Act. C. Drug Act 1976. D. Drug Pricing Policy 2018. Correct answer. Question 68. What does the term, orphan drug, refer to? A. A drug used to treat rare diseases. Correct answer. B. A drug without any active ingredients. C. A drug manufactured by a specific brand. D. A drug used only for specific diseases. Question 69. What is the purpose of a drug recall notification? A. To provide information on the availability of a drug. B. To inform healthcare professionals about adverse drug reactions. C. To inform the public about the recall of a drug. Correct answer. D. To promote generic. Question 70. Which organization is responsible for the regulation and control of drugs in Pakistan? A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. B. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council, PMDC. C. World Health Organization, WHO. D. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Answer. A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Question 71. What is the primary objective of drug regulation in Pakistan? A. Ensuring affordable drug prices. B. Promoting local pharmaceutical industry. C. Ensuring the quality, safety, and efficacy of drugs. D. Controlling drug exports. Answer. C. Ensuring the quality, safety, and efficacy of drugs. Question 72. Which law governs the registration and approval of drugs in Pakistan? A. Drug Act, 1976. B. Pakistan Penal Code. C. Drug Regulatory Authority Act, 2012. D. Constitution of Pakistan. Answer. A. Drug Act, 1976. Question 73. What is the maximum duration of a drug registration certificate in Pakistan? A. One year. B. Three years. C. Five years. D. Ten years. Answer. C. Five years. Question 74. What is the purpose of conducting clinical trials for drugs? A. To determine the manufacturing cost. B. To ensure public awareness. C. To evaluate the safety and efficacy of drugs. D. To assess the market potential. Answer. C. To evaluate the safety and efficacy of drugs. Question 75. 
Which type of drug requires a prescription from a registered medical practitioner? A. Over-the-counter OTC drugs. B. Controlled drugs. C. Generic drugs. D. Herbal drugs. Answer. B. Controlled drugs. Question 76. What does the term, good manufacturing practices, GMP, refer to? A. Guidelines for drug pricing. B. Quality control standards for drug manufacturing. C. Regulations for drug distribution. D. Drug registration requirements. Answer. B. Quality control standards for drug manufacturing. Question 77. Which category of drugs requires additional monitoring due to their safety concerns? A. Schedule H drugs. B. Schedule 10 drugs. C. Schedule G drugs. D. Schedule 1 drugs. Answer. B. Schedule 10 drugs. Question 78. What is the maximum allowable limit for microbial contamination in pharmaceutical products? A. Zero tolerance. B. One colony forming unit CFU per gram. C. 10 CFUs per gram. D. 100 CFUs per gram. Answer. A. Zero tolerance. Question 79. Which document provides detailed information about a drug's composition, dosage form, indications, contraindications, etc.? A. Drug Master File DMF. B. Investigational New Drug IND Application. C. Summary of Product Characteristics SPC. D. Drug Registration Certificate DRC. Answer. Seat Summary of Product Characteristics SPC Question 80 What is the purpose of post-marketing surveillance of drugs? A. To monitor the effectiveness of drug advertising B. To track adverse drug reactions and safety issues C. To determine the patentability of new drugs D. To evaluate the market share of pharmaceutical companies Answer B. To track adverse drug reactions and safety issues. Question 81. Which organization is responsible for ensuring the safety, quality, and efficacy of vaccines in Pakistan? A. World Health Organization, WHO. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. C. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council, PMDC. D. Ministry of Health. Answer. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Question 82. What is the maximum allowed level of lead in herbal medicines in Pakistan? A. 2 parts per million ppm. B. 10 ppm. C. 100 ppm. D. 1000 ppm. Answer. C. 100 ppm. Question 83. Which schedule of the Drug Act, 1976, covers the import and export of drugs? A. Schedule A. B. Schedule B. C. Schedule C. D. Schedule D. Answer. D. Schedule D. Question 84. Which of the following is not a category of drugs as per the Drug Act, 1976? A. Allopathic drugs. B. Homeopathic drugs. C. Ayurvedic drugs. D. Unani drugs. Answer. C. Ayurvedic drugs. Question 85. Which organization is responsible for granting manufacturing licenses to pharmaceutical companies in Pakistan? A. Ministry of Health. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. C. National Institute of Health, NIH. D. Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association, PPMA. Answer. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Question 86. Which of the following is a valid drug recall class as per the DRAP guidelines? A. Class 1. B. Class 2. 
C. Class 3. D. Class 4. Answer. A Class 1. Question 87. What is the maximum allowed temperature for storing vaccines in a refrigerator? A. Minus 5 degrees Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius. B. 2 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius. C. 10 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius. D. 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. Answer. B. 2 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius. Question 88. Which of the following agencies is responsible for the inspection of drug manufacturing facilities in Pakistan? A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. B. Pakistan Medical Commission, PMC. C. Pakistan Standards and Quality Control Authority, PSQCA. D. Federal Investigation Agency, FIA. Answer. A Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Question 89. What is the maximum duration for responding to an application for drug registration in Pakistan? A 30 days. B. 60 days. C. 90 days. D. 120 days. Answer. D. 120 days. Question 90. What is the minimum qualification required for the post of assistant director at DRAP? A. Intermediate, 12th grade. B. Bachelor's degree. C. Master's degree. D. Ph.D. Answer. B. Bachelor's degree. Question 91. Which organization collaborates with DRAP for the assessment and registration of generic drugs? A. World Health Organization, WHO. B. Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association, PPMA. C. World Trade Organization, WTO. D. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Answer. A. World Health Organization, WHO. Question 92. Which schedule of the Drug Act, 1976, covers the pricing of drugs? A. Schedule E. B. Schedule F. C. Schedule G. D. Schedule H. Answer. C. Schedule G. Question 93. Which organization is responsible for drug regulation in Pakistan? A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. B. World Health Organization, WHO. C. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. D. European Medicines Agency, EMA. Answer. A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Question 94. Which of the following is the primary purpose of drug regulation? A. Ensuring drug availability at low cost. B. Safeguarding public health and safety. C. Promoting pharmaceutical company profits. D. Speeding up drug development process. Answer. B. Safeguarding public health and safety. Question 95. What does the term, GMP, stand for in the context of drug regulation? A. Good manufacturing practices. B. General market positioning. C. Global medical protocols. D. Government medication program. Answer. A. Good manufacturing practices. Question 96. Which regulatory body oversees the approval of new drugs in Pakistan? A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. B. World Health Organization, WHO. C. European Medicines Agency, EMA. D. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Answer. A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Question 97. Which category of drugs can be sold without a prescription in Pakistan? A. Over-the-counter OTC drugs. B. Prescription-only drugs Rx. C. Controlled substances. D. Investigational drugs. Answer. A. Over-the-counter OTC drugs. Question 99. 
Which organization is responsible for regulating pharmaceuticals in Pakistan? A. DRAP B. FDA C. WHO D. CDC Answer. A. DRAP Question 100. Which legislation governs the regulation of drugs in Pakistan? A. Drug Act, 1976 B. Medicine Regulation Act, 1980 C. Pharmacy Control Act, 1995 D. Health and Safety Act, 2005 Answer. A. Drug Act, 1976 Question 101. What is the primary role of DRAP? A. Promotion of generic medicines B. Regulation of clinical trials C. Ensuring drug safety and efficacy D. Distribution of controlled substances Answer. C. Ensuring drug safety and efficacy Question 102. Which department of DRAP is responsible for issuing drug manufacturing licenses? A. Drug registration B. Pharmacovigilance C. Quality assurance D. Inspectorate of Drugs Answer. D. Inspectorate of Drugs Question 103. Which of the following is not a function of the Drug Registration Department? A. Registration of new drugs B. Evaluation of drug applications C. Monitoring adverse drug reactions D. Approval of drug labeling and packaging Answer. C. Monitoring Adverse Drug Reactions Question 104. What does the abbreviation, OTC, stand for in the context of pharmaceuticals? A. Over-the-counter B. Outpatient Treatment Center C. Overdose Treatment and Care D. Official Testing Center Answer. A. Over-the-counter Question 105. Which category of drugs requires a prescription from a licensed healthcare professional? A. Schedule 1 B. Schedule 2 C. Schedule 3 D. Schedule 4 Answer. B. Schedule 2 Question 106 Which department of DRAP is responsible for conducting inspections of drug manufacturing facilities? A. Drug Registration B. Pharmacovigilance C. Quality Assurance D. Inspectorate of Drugs Answer. D. Inspectorate of Drugs Question 107. What is the maximum validity period of a drug manufacturing license issued by DRAP? A. 2 years B. 3 years C. 5 years D. 10 years Answer. C. 5 years Question 108. Which organization collaborates with DRAP for the regulation of vaccines in Pakistan? A. WHO B. UNICEF C. CDC D. Gavi Answer. A. WHO Question 109. What is the purpose of a drug master file DMF? A. To register a new drug in Pakistan. B. To provide information about drug safety. C. To facilitate the review of drug applications. D. To report adverse drug reactions. Answer. C. To facilitate the review of drug applications. Question 110. Which department of DRAP is responsible for assessing the quality of imported drugs? A. Drug Registration. B. Pharmacovigilance. C. Quality Assurance D. Inspectorate of Drugs Answer. C. Quality Assurance Question 111. Which document provides detailed information about the contents and usage of a drug? A. Drug Label B. Drug Monograph C. Drug Package Insert D. Drug Registration Certificate Answer. C. Drug Package Insert Question 112 What is the purpose of post-marketing surveillance conducted by DRAP? A. To assess the efficacy of registered drugs 
B. To monitor the safety of marketed drugs. C. To promote the use of generic drugs. D. To regulate drug prices. Answer. B. To monitor the safety of marketed drugs. Question 113. Which of the following is a primary source of adverse drug reaction reports in Pakistan? Of healthcare professionals. B. Drug manufacturers. C. Patients and consumers. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Question 114. How often should a drug manufacturing facility be inspected by DRAP? A. Every year. B. Every two years. C. Every three years. D. Every five years. Answer. C. Every three years. Question 115. What is the role of pharmacovigilance in DRAP? A. Registration of new drugs. B. Evaluation of drug applications. C. Monitoring drug safety. D. Issuing drug manufacturing licenses. Answer. C. Monitoring drug safety. Question 116. Which organization is responsible for setting standards for pharmaceutical packaging in Pakistan? A. DRAP. B. WHO. C. Pakistan Standards and Quality Control Authority PSQCA. D. Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association PPMA. Answer. C. Pakistan Standards and Quality Control Authority PSQCA. Question 117. Which of the following is not a responsibility of the drug testing laboratory in DRAP? A. Testing the quality of drugs. B. Assessing the bioequivalence of generic drugs. C. Evaluating the stability of drug formulations. D. Conducting clinical trials. Answer. D. Conducting clinical trials. Question 118. What does the abbreviation, CRO, stand for in the context of clinical research? A. Clinical Research Organization. B. Central Regulatory Office. C. Controlled Research Oversight. D. Clinical Research Officer. Answer. A clinical research organization. Question 119. Which department of DRAP is responsible for issuing licenses to import drugs into Pakistan? A. Drug Registration. B. Pharmacovigilance. C. Import and Export. D. Inspectorate of Drugs. Answer. C. Import and Export. Question 120. Which regulatory authority of Pakistan collaborates with DRAP for the inspection of clinical trial sites? A. Pakistan Medical Commission, PMC. B. Pakistan Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, PCSIR. C. Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission, PAEC. D. Pakistan Drug Testing and Research Center, PDTRC. Answer. A Pakistan Medical Commission, PMC. Question 121. What is the maximum penalty for manufacturing and selling spurious drugs under the Drug Act, 1976? A fine of up to 1 million Pakistani rupees. B. Fine of up to 5 million Pakistani rupees. C. Fine of up to 10 million Pakistani rupees. D. Fine of up to 25 million Pakistani rupees. Answer. C. Fine of up to 10 million Pakistani rupees. Question 122. Which department of DRAP is responsible for pricing and availability of essential drugs? A. Drug Registration. B. Pharmacovigilance. C. Pricing and Availability Control. D. Inspectorate of Drugs. Answer. C. Pricing and Availability Control. Question 123. What is the purpose of a stability study conducted by a drug manufacturer? A. To evaluate the shelf life of a drug. B. To assess the safety of a drug. C. To determine the efficacy of a drug. D. To monitor the adverse effects of a drug. 
Answer. A to evaluate the shelf life of a drug. Question 124. Which of the following organizations is responsible for regulating pharmaceuticals and medical devices in Pakistan? A. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council PMDC. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP. C. Pakistan Pharmacy Council PPC. D. Pakistan Health Regulatory Authority FRA. Correct answer. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP. Question 125. What is the primary function of Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP? Of regulating the import and export of agricultural products. B. Ensuring food safety and quality standards in the country. C. Monitoring and controlling the manufacturing, import, and sale of drugs and medicines. D. Issuing licenses for medical practitioners and healthcare facilities. Correct answer. C. Monitoring and controlling the manufacturing, import, and sale of drugs and medicines. Question 126. Which law governs the registration, pricing, and quality control of drugs in Pakistan? A. Drug Act 1976. B. Medicine Control Ordinance 1960. C. Pharmaceutical Regulations 2001. D. Drug Regulatory Ordinance 2012. Correct answer. A. Drug Act 1976. Question 127. What is the purpose of the National Drug Policy in Pakistan? A. To promote the export of locally manufactured drugs. B. To ensure the availability of essential drugs at affordable prices. C. To regulate the advertising of pharmaceutical products. D. To provide financial assistance to pharmaceutical companies. Correct answer. B. To ensure the availability of essential drugs at affordable prices. Question 128. The abbreviation, ADR, in the context of drug regulation stands for A. Adverse drug reactions. B. Accepted drug research. C. Advanced drug registration. D. Applied drug regulation. Question 129. Which act regulates the import, export, manufacture, and sale of drugs in Pakistan? A. Drug Control Act. B. Drug Regulatory Authority Act. C. Drug Act of Pakistan. D. Drugs Act 1976. Answer. D. Drugs Act 1976. Question 130. The Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP falls under which ministry? A. Ministry of Health. B. Ministry of Pharmaceuticals. C. Ministry of Drug Regulation. D. Ministry of Science and Technology. Answer. A. Ministry of Health. Question 131. What does OTC stand for in the context of drugs? A. Over the counter. B. Over the country. C. Over the cabinet. D. Over the control. Answer. A. Over the counter. Question 132. Which schedule of the Drug Act 1976 contains a list of drugs prohibited for import, manufacture, and sale in Pakistan? A. Schedule 1. B. Schedule 2. C. Schedule 3. D. Schedule 4. Answer. A. Schedule 1. Question 133. Which type of drug recall is initiated by the manufacturer or distributor to remove a defective product from the market? A. Class 1 recall. B. Class 2 recall. C. Class 3 recall. D. Class 4 recall. Answer. B. Class 2 recall. Question 134. The National Drug Policy aims to achieve equitable access to essential drugs for all citizens of Pakistan. In which year was it formulated? A. 1992. B. 2002. C. 2012. 
D. 2022. Answer. B. 2002. Question 135. Which department is responsible for granting marketing authorizations for new drugs in Pakistan? A. Department of Drug Registration. B. Department of Drug Evaluation. C. Department of Drug Licensing. D. Department of Drug Approvals. Answer. B. Department of Drug Evaluation. Question 136. What is the primary function of the Central Licensing Board, established under the Drug Act 1976? A. Issuing licenses to pharmaceutical companies. B. Regulating drug prices. C. Registering pharmacists. D. Granting manufacturing licenses for drugs. Answer. D. Granting manufacturing licenses for drugs. Question 137. Which document outlines the design, objectives, methodology, and statistical considerations of a clinical trial? A. Patient Information Sheet B. Investigator's Brochure C. Clinical Trial Protocol D. Informed Consent Form Answer. C. Clinical Trial Protocol Question 138 Adverse Drug Reaction ADR, reporting is essential for pharmacovigilance. What is the maximum time frame for reporting serious ADRs in Pakistan? A. 7 days. B. 15 days. C. 30 days. D. 60 days. Answer. B. 15 days. Question 139. The WHO abbreviation for the international non-proprietary name in of drugs is used for a tracking drug imports and exports, b identifying drug manufacturers, c providing a unique generic name for a drug, d categorizing drugs based on their therapeutic class. Answer: C providing a unique generic name for a drug. Question 140. Which schedule of the Drug Act 1976 includes drugs that are available without a prescription? A. Schedule G. B. Schedule H. C. Schedule M. D. Schedule U. Answer. A. Schedule G. Question 141. What is the purpose of the Drug Registration Board? A. Enforcing drug regulations. B. Registering pharmacies and drug stores. C. Granting marketing authorizations for new drugs. D. Determining drug prices in the market. Answer. C. Granting marketing authorizations for new drugs. Question 142. Which of the following is not a requirement for obtaining a wholesale drug license? A. Adequate storage facilities. B. Qualified pharmacist on staff. C. Purchase record of drugs. D. Approval from the local police department. Answer. D. Approval from the local police department. Question 143. The Controlled Substance Act in Pakistan regulates the manufacturing, distribution, and sale of drugs under the influence of which authority? A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. B. Ministry of Health. C. Narcotics Control Division. D. Pakistan Pharmaceutical Regulatory Authority, PPRA. Answer. C. Narcotics Control Division. Question 144. What does WHO stand for in the context of international drug regulations? A. World Health Organization. B. World Herbal Organization. C. World Health Care Organization. D. World Herbalists Organization. Answer. A. World Health Organization. Question 145. Which organization plays a significant role in international collaboration and the exchange of drug information among different countries? A. European Medicines Agency, EMA. B. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. 
C. World Health Organization, WHO. D. Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, MHRA. Answer. C. World Health Organization, WHO. Question 146. What is the primary objective of post-marketing surveillance of drugs? A. Determining the efficacy of a drug. B. Assessing the safety of a drug after it's in the market. C. Monitoring the drug's manufacturing process. D. Ensuring the drug's availability to all regions. Answer. B. Assessing the safety of a drug after it's in the market. Question 147. The Pharmacovigilance Center in Pakistan is responsible for a drug import inspections. B. Granting marketing authorizations for new drugs. C. Monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions. D. Regulating drug prices in the market. Answer. C. Monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions. Question 148. The Good Manufacturing Practices GMP, ensure that drugs are consistently produced and controlled to meet the quality standards. Which organization issues GMP certificates in Pakistan? A Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association PPMA. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP. C. Pakistan Standard and Quality Control Authority PSQCA. D. Ministry of Health. Answer. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP. Question 149. Which act regulates the prices of drugs in Pakistan? A. Drug Pricing Act. B. Drug Price Control Order. C. Drug Cost Regulation Act. D. Drug Price Fixation Act. Answer. B. Drug Price Control Order. Question 150. Which category of drugs requires the highest level of control and has the most stringent prescription requirements? A. Schedule G. B. Schedule H. C. Schedule M. D. Schedule U. Answer. B. Schedule H. Correct answer. A. Adverse drug reactions. Question 151. What is the primary role of the Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP? A. Promote alternative medicine practices. B. Regulate and control pharmaceutical products. C. Conduct clinical trials for new drugs. D. Provide health care services. Answer. B. Regulate and control pharmaceutical products. Question 152. Which of the following laws govern the functioning of DRAP? A. Drug Enforcement Administration DIA, Act. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan Act. C. Controlled Substances Act CSA. D. Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act FDCA. Answer. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan Act. Question 153. What is the purpose of Good Manufacturing Practices GMP, in the pharmaceutical industry? A. Marketing new drugs. B. Ensuring drug quality and safety. C. Reducing drug prices. D. Increasing drug availability. Answer. B. Ensuring drug quality and safety. Question 154. Which department is responsible for issuing licenses to pharmaceutical manufacturers in Pakistan? A. Ministry of Health. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. C. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council. D. Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association. Answer. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. Question 155. Which category of drugs requires a prescription from a registered medical practitioner for dispensing? A. Over-the-counter OTC drugs. B. Prescription-only medicines POM. 
C. Generic drugs. D. Controlled substances. Answer. B. Prescription-only medicines. Palm. Question 156. The abbreviation, OTC, in the pharmaceutical context stands for A. Over the clock. B. On time cure. C. Over the counter. D. On trial care. Answer. C. Over the counter. Question 157. What does the term, pharmacovigilance, refer to in the pharmaceutical industry? A. Ensuring drug affordability. B. Drug import and export regulations. C. Monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions. D. Quality control of pharmaceutical products. Answer. C. Monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions. Question 158. Which organization is responsible for setting international standards for drug quality and safety? A. World Health Organization, WHO. B. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. C. European Medicines Agency, EMA. D. Drug Enforcement Administration, DIA. Answer. A. World Health Organization, WHO. Question 159. What is the maximum validity period for a drug manufacturing license in Pakistan? A. One year. B. Two years. C. Three years. D. Five years. Answer. C. Three years. Question 160. Which government agency is responsible for controlling narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances in Pakistan? A. Pakistan Narcotics Control Board, PNCB. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. C. Pakistan Drug Enforcement Agency, PDEA. D. Ministry of Interior. Answer. A. Pakistan Narcotics Control Board, PNCB. Question 161. The abbreviation, WHO, stands for a. World Health Order. B. World Health Organization. C. World Health Care Oversight. D. World Health Office. Answer. B. World Health Organization. Question 162. Which of the following is not a primary function of DRAP? A. Drug Registration and Pricing. B. Ensuring Pharmaceutical Companies Profitability. C. Regulation of clinical trials. D. Monitoring drug safety and quality. Answer. B. Ensuring pharmaceutical companies profitability. Question 163. What is the purpose of conducting clinical trials for new drugs? A. To assess drug effectiveness only. B. To test drugs on a wide population for marketing purposes. C. To ensure patient safety during drug development. D. To get early access to new drugs. Answer. C. To ensure patient safety during drug development. Question 164. Which schedule of the Drug Act contains the list of controlled substances in Pakistan? A. Schedule 1. B. Schedule 2. C. Schedule 3. D. Schedule 4. Answer. B. Schedule 2. Question 165. What is the main function of the National Drug Formulary in Pakistan? A. Price control of essential drugs. B. Approval of new drugs. C. Registration of pharmaceutical companies. D. Listing of essential drugs. Answer. D. Listing of essential drugs. Question 166. The term, bioequivalence, in pharmaceuticals refers to A. The interchangeability of different drugs. B. The similarity in the chemical composition of generic drugs. C. The equivalence in the rate and extent of drug absorption from a generic product compared to a reference product. D. The combination of drugs to enhance therapeutic effects. Answer. 
See the equivalence in the rate and extent of drug absorption from a generic product compared to a reference product. Question 167. What is the main purpose of an import license for drugs in Pakistan? Of regulating drug imports from specific countries. B. Controlling drug prices for imported products. C. Ensuring the quality and safety of imported drugs. D. Encouraging local manufacturing of drugs. Answer. C. Ensuring the quality and safety of imported drugs. Question 168. What does the term, pharmaceutical equivalence, mean? A. Drugs with similar therapeutic effects. B. Drugs with identical chemical compositions. C. Drugs with similar physical and chemical characteristics. D. Drugs manufactured by the same company. Answer. C. Drugs with similar physical and chemical characteristics. Question 169. Which department is responsible for granting marketing authorization to new drugs in Pakistan? A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. B. Ministry of Health. C. Pakistan Medical Commission, PMC. D. National Health Services Regulations and Coordination, NHSRC. Answer. A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Question 170. The term, pharmacokinetics, refers to A. The study of drug interactions with food. B. The study of drug side effects. C. The study of drug movement within the body. D. The study of drug manufacturing processes. Answer. C. The study of drug movement within the body. Question 171. Which of the following drugs requires special storage conditions, such as refrigeration? A. Tablets. B. Capsules. C. Injectable solutions. D. Creams. Answer. C. Injectable solutions. Question 172. What does the term, generic drug, mean? A. Drugs manufactured by a generic pharmaceutical company. B. Drugs without any brand name. C. Drugs with the same chemical composition as a brand name drug. D. Drugs that have expired patents. Answer. C. Drugs with the same chemical composition as a brand name drug. Question 173. Which organization regulates pharmaceutical products in Pakistan? A. DRAP. B. WHO. C. FDA. D. CDC. Answer. A. DRAP. Question 174. What is the primary responsibility of the Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan? A. Conducting clinical trials. B. Approving new drugs for marketing. C. Ensuring drug safety and efficacy. D. Providing medical licenses. Answer. C. Ensuring drug safety and efficacy. Question 175. Which of the following departments falls under DRAP's jurisdiction? A. Pakistan Medical Commission, PMC. B. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council, PMDC. C. Drug Testing Laboratories. D. Pakistan Engineering Council, PEC. Answer. C. Drug Testing Laboratories. Question 176. Which law governs the registration and marketing of drugs in Pakistan? A. Drug Act 1964. B. Pharmacy Act 1976. C. Drug Regulatory Ordinance 2002. D. Health Safety and Regulation Act 1984. Answer. C. Drug Regulatory Ordinance 2002. Question 177. What is the maximum validity period for a drug registration certificate in Pakistan? A. 3 years. B. 5 years. C. 7 years. D. 10 years. Answer. B. 5 years. 
Question 178. Which category of drugs requires approval from the Federal Review Board before registration? A. Over-the-counter OTC drugs. B. Generic drugs. C. Biological drugs. D. Psychotropic drugs. Answer. D. Psychotropic drugs. Question 179. Which document provides guidelines for conducting clinical trials in Pakistan? A. Drug Master File DMF. B. Investigators Brochure IB. C. Good Clinical Practice GCP. D. Investigational New Drug IND Application. Answer. C. Good Clinical Practice GCP. Question 180. The term, bioequivalence, refers to a, the ability of a generic drug to be absorbed in the body. B. The therapeutic effectiveness of a drug. C. The interchangeability of different dosage forms of the same drug. D. The similarity of generic and brand name drugs in terms of rate and extent of absorption. Answer. D. The similarity of generic and brand name drugs in terms of rate and extent of absorption. Question 181. Which class of medical devices poses the highest risk and requires strict regulatory control? A. Class 1. B. Class 2. C. Class 3. D. Class 4. Answer. C. Class 3. Question 182. How often should a medical device manufacturer renew their registration with DRAP? A. Every year. B. Every two years. C. Every three years. D. Every five years. Answer. C. Every three years. Question 183. Adverse Drug Reaction ADR, reporting is mandatory for A. Healthcare Professionals B. Drug Manufacturers C. Patients D. All of the above Answer. D. All of the above Question 184 The National Drug Policy of Pakistan was introduced in which year? A. 1978 B. 1982 C. 1992. D. 2000. Answer. C. 1992. Question 185. The process of granting permission for the import of an unregistered drug is called A. Drug licensing. B. Special approval. C. Fast track registration. D. Import license exemption. Answer. B. Special approval. Question 186. Which international organization sets quality standards for pharmaceutical products? A. WHO. B. UNICEF. C. UNESCO. D. WTO. Answer. A. WHO. Question 187. The Orange Book is a publication by the US FDA that provides information about a approved drug products and therapeutic equivalence evaluations. B. Drug pricing and reimbursement guidelines. C. Drug patents and intellectual property rights. D. Drug marketing and promotion regulations. Answer. A approved drug products and therapeutic equivalence evaluations. Question 188. The abbreviation, CRO, stands for a controlled research organization. B. Clinical research organization. C. Central regulatory office. D. Cooperative review organization. Answer. B. Clinical research organization. Question 189. Which of the following drugs is classified as a controlled substance in Pakistan? A. Antibiotics. B. Analgesics. C. Psychotropic drugs. D. Antihistamines. Answer. C. Psychotropic drugs. Question 190. The Pharmacovigilance Center in Pakistan is responsible for A. Drug manufacturing inspections. B. Clinical trial approvals. 
C. Monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions. D. Drug registration renewals. Answer. C. Monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions. Question 191. The term, NOC, in drug registration stands for A. No objection certificate. B. Notice of compliance. C. National order of certification. D. New onset clearance. Answer. B. Notice of compliance. Question 192. Which department under DRAP is responsible for regulating the pricing of drugs? A. Drug Pricing Committee, DPC. B. Drug Pricing Council, DPC. C. Drug Pricing Board, DPB. D. Drug Pricing Regulatory Authority, DPRA. Answer. A. Drug Pricing Committee, DPC. Question 193. The Pharmacopoeia of Pakistan provides information about A. Drug Pricing Guidelines B. Drug Testing and Quality Control Methods C. Drug Patent Regulations D. Drug Import and Export Policies Answer. B. Drug Testing and Quality Control Methods Question 194 which of the following acts is a bridge between DRAP and pharmaceutical companies? A. Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association, PPMA. B. Pakistan Drug Testing Laboratories, PDTL. C. Pakistan Pharmacy Council, PPC. D. Pakistan Pharmacist Association, PPA. Answer. A Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association, PPMA. Question 195. Schedule H, of the Drug Act 1964 includes drugs that A. Are available only in hospitals. B. Require a doctor's prescription for dispensing. C. Are banned for use in Pakistan. D. Can be sold without a prescription. Answer. B. Require a doctor's prescription for dispensing. Question 196. In which year was the Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan established? A. 2002. B. 2007. C. 2012. D. 2016. Answer. C. 2012. Question 197. The Code of Ethics for the pharmaceutical industry in Pakistan is issued by A. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council, PMDC B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP C. Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association, PPMA D. World Health Organization, WHO Answer C. Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association, PPMA. Question 198. Which of the following is the primary role of Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP? A. Ensuring access to affordable drugs. B. Encouraging herbal medicine usage. C. Promoting cosmetic imports. D. Exporting pharmaceutical products. Answer. Of ensuring access to affordable drugs. Question 199. What is the primary function of DRAP in relation to pharmaceutical companies? A. Marketing their products. B. Conducting clinical trials. C. Regulating drug manufacturing and sale. D. Providing health care services. Answer. C. Regulating drug manufacturing and sale. Question 200. What does CGMP stand for in the pharmaceutical industry? A. Current good marketing practices. B. Controlled growth of medical products. C. Consumer general medical protection. D. Current good manufacturing practices. Answer. D. Current good manufacturing practices. Question 201. Which department of DRAP is responsible for reviewing drug registration applications? 
A drug evaluation and registration. B. Drug quality control. C. Drug manufacturing compliance. D. Drug import and export. Answer. A drug evaluation and registration. Question 202. What is the maximum validity period for a drug registration certificate in Pakistan? A. 2 years. B. 3 years. C. 5 years. D. 7 years. Answer. C. 5 years. Question 203. The WHO, Essential Medicines List, includes drugs that A. Are the most expensive in the market. B. Are essential for treating priority diseases. C. Have the highest profit margins for pharmaceutical companies. D. Are only available in developed countries. Answer. B. Are essential for treating priority diseases. Question 204. Which act empowers DRAP to regulate the import, export, manufacture, and sale of drugs in Pakistan? A. Pharmacy Act, 1967. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan Act, 2012. C. Medicines Marketing Authorization, Sale, and Distribution Ordinance, 1969. D. Drug Act, 1976. Answer. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan Act, 2012. Question 205. What is the purpose of the drug recall system implemented by DRAP? A. To penalize pharmaceutical companies. B. To improve drug quality control. C. To recall expired drugs. D. To withdraw unsafe drugs from the market. Answer. D. To withdraw unsafe drugs from the market. Question 206. Which regulatory body does DRAP collaborate with to ensure compliance with international standards? A. United Nations. B. World Trade Organization, WTO. C. World Health Organization, WHO. D. International Monetary Fund, IMF. Answer. C. World Health Organization, WHO. Question 207. The abbreviation, NDMA, stands for A. National Drug Management Authority. B. National Drug Manufacturing Agency. C. National Disaster Management Authority. D. National Drug Monitoring Association. Answer. C. National Disaster Management Authority. Question 208. What is the primary responsibility of the Pharmacovigilance Department at DRAP? A. Approving new drugs for marketing. B. Conducting clinical trials. C. Monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions. D. Overseeing drug import and export procedures. Answer. C. Monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions. Question 209. What is the function of the drug pricing policy in Pakistan? A. To increase drug prices to boost the pharmaceutical industry. B. To regulate and control drug prices to make them affordable. C. To promote the export of pharmaceutical products. D. To allow pharmaceutical companies to set their own prices. Answer. B. To regulate and control drug prices to make them affordable. Question 210. The abbreviation, OTC, in the pharmaceutical context stands for A. Over the counter. B. Outside the clinic. C. Over the case. D. Outside the counter. Answer. A. Over the counter. Question 211. Which department of DRAP is responsible for inspecting and ensuring compliance of drug manufacturing facilities? A. Drug Evaluation and Registration. B. Drug Quality Control. C. Drug Manufacturing Compliance. D. Drug Import and Export. Answer. C. Drug Manufacturing Compliance. Question 212. The abbreviation, 
WHOGMP stands for a World Health Organization Global Marketing Practices B World Health Organization General Medical Protocol C World Health Organization Good Manufacturing Practices D World Health Organization Global Medical Production Answer C World Health Organization Good Manufacturing Practices Question 213. Which of the following is not a function of DRAP? A. Implementing health awareness campaigns. B. Regulating veterinary medicines. C. Setting quality standards for drugs. D. Ensuring access to essential medicines. Answer. A. Implementing health awareness campaigns. Question 214. Which of the following documents is required for the registration of a new drug in Pakistan? A. Drug Marketing Authorization Certificate B. Drug Import License C. Drug Master File D. Drug Registration Dossier Answer. D. Drug Registration Dossier Question 215. Fast Track Approval for Drugs May Be Granted in Pakistan for a. Imported drugs only. B. Drugs manufactured by multinational companies. C. Life-saving and essential drugs. D. Herbal medicines. Answer. C. Life-saving and essential drugs. Question 216. Which international standard provides guidelines for bioequivalence studies? A. GCP. B. W. H. O. G. M. P. C. ISO 9001. D. U. S. P. N. F. Answer. A. I. G. C. P. Question 217. What is the purpose of conducting post-marketing surveillance of drugs? A. To promote pharmaceutical companies. B. To ensure advertising compliance. C. To monitor drug safety and efficacy. D. To control drug prices. Answer. C. To monitor drug safety and efficacy. Question 218. Drugs for compassionate use refer to drugs that are provided to A. Patients with terminal illnesses. B. Patients in clinical trials. C. Patients facing financial hardships. D. Patients with life-threatening conditions who have no suitable alternative treatment. Answer. D. Patients with life-threatening conditions who have no suitable alternative treatment. Question 219. Which organization is responsible for accrediting drug testing laboratories in Pakistan? A. Pakistan Standards and Quality Control Authority, PSQCA. B. Drug Testing and Research Center, DTRC. C. Pakistan National Accreditation Council, PNAC. D. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Answer. C. Pakistan National Accreditation Council, PNAC. Question 220. Which of the following is not a route of drug administration? A. Oral. B. Intravenous. C. Topical. D. Inhalation. Answer. B. Intravenous. Question 221. What is the primary function of the Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP? A. Drug Manufacturing. B. Drug Pricing. C. Drug Registration and Regulation. D. Drug Marketing. Answer. C. Drug Registration and Regulation. Question 222. Which of the following government agencies oversees the DRAP? A. Ministry of Health. B. Ministry of Finance. C. Ministry of Interior. D. Ministry of Education. Answer. A. Ministry of Health. Question 223. Which of the following documents contains information about a drug's intended use, dosage, side effects, and contraindications? A. Drug Registration Certificate, DRC. B. Package Insert. 
C. Drug Master File DMF. D. Certificate of Pharmaceutical Product CPP. Answer. B. Package Insert. Question 224. Which drug classification category indicates that a drug requires a prescription for dispensing? A. OTC over the counter. B. Schedule 1. C. Schedule 2. D. Palm prescription only medicine. Answer. D. Palm prescription only medicine. Question 225. What is the term for the study of the interactions between drugs and living organisms? A. Pharmacology. B. Pharmacodynamics. C. Pharmacokinetics. D. Pharmaceutics. Answer. A. Pharmacology. Question 226. Which dosage form is designed to deliver a drug at a controlled rate over an extended period? A. Capsule. B. Tablet. C. Syrup. D. Transdermal patch. Answer. D. Transdermal patch. Question 227. The process by which a drug is broken down into metabolites by the body is known as A. Absorption B. Excretion C. Metabolism D. Distribution Answer. C. Metabolism Question 228. Which of the following statements is true about generic drugs? A. They have different active ingredients than brand name drugs. B. They are always more expensive than brand name drugs. C. They must have the same quality and efficacy as brand name drugs. D. They are not subject to regulation by the DRAP. Answer. C. They must have the same quality and efficacy as brand name drugs. Question 229. Which of the following drugs is classified as an analgesic and antipyretic? A. Ibuprofen. B. Amoxicillin. C. Prednisone. D. Hydrochlorothiazide. Answer. A. Ibuprofen. Question 230. The term, BID, in prescription stands for A. Before meals. B. Twice a day. C. As needed. D. After meals. Answer. B. Twice a day. Question 231. Which of the following medications is used to treat hypertension, high blood pressure? A. Warfarin. B. Metformin. C. Lisinopril. D. Omeprazole. Answer. C. Lisinopril. Question 232. What does the abbreviation, OTC, stand for in the context of pharmaceuticals? A. Over the counter. B. Outside the country. C. On the clock. D. Ophthalmic topical cream. Answer. A. Over the counter. Question 233. Which of the following vaccines is recommended for infants to prevent tuberculosis? A. MMR, measles, mumps, rubella. B. DTAP, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis. C. BCG, bacillus calmet-garin. D. HPV, human papillomavirus. Answer. C. BCG, bacillus calmet-garin. Question 234. Which government department in Pakistan oversees the pricing of pharmaceutical products? A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. B. Pakistan Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Association, PPMA. C. Pakistan Bureau of Statistics, PBS. D. Drug Testing Laboratory, DTL. Answer. A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Question 235. Which of the following drugs is commonly used as an antiplatelet agent to prevent blood clots? A. Paracetamol. B. Aspirin. C. Diphenhydramine. D. Ciprofloxacin. Answer. B. Aspirin. Question 236. 
What is the primary function of the Narcotic Control Division NCD, in Pakistan? Of regulating the sale and distribution of narcotics. B. Overseeing the import and export of narcotics. C. Managing drug rehabilitation centers. D. Controlling the pricing of narcotics. Answer. Of regulating the sale and distribution of narcotics. Question 237. Which of the following dosage forms is not intended for oral administration? A tablet. B. Capsule. C. Ointment. D. Suspension. Answer. C. Ointment. Question 238. The process by which a drug moves from its site of administration into the bloodstream is called a metabolism. B. Excretion. C. Absorption. D. Distribution. Answer. C. Absorption. Question 239. Which of the following is an example of a Schedule II controlled substance? A. Morphine. B. Diazepam. C. Codeine in low concentrations. D. Acetaminophen. Answer. A. Morphine. Question 240. Which government agency in Pakistan is responsible for the testing and evaluation of pharmaceutical products? A. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. B. Pakistan Medical Commission, PMC. C. Drug Testing Laboratory, DTL. D. National Institute of Health, NIH. Answer. C. Drug Testing Laboratory, DTL. Question 241. Which class of drugs is commonly used to lower cholesterol levels? A. Beta blockers. B. Anticoagulants. C. Satins. D. Angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE inhibitors. Answer. C. Satins. Question 242. The expiry date on a drug package indicates at the date when the drug was manufactured. B. The date when the drug will lose its potency. C. The date when the drug should be discarded. D. The date when the drug was registered with the DRAP. Answer. C. The date when the drug should be discarded. Question 243. Which of the following drugs is used to treat type 2 diabetes mellitus? A. Insulin. B. Glipizide. C. Allopurinol. D. Digoxin. Answer. B. Glipizide. Question 244. Which of the following is not a role of the Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP? A. Ensuring the safety and efficacy of medicines. B. Regulating medical devices. C. Monitoring clinical trials. D. Conducting pharmaceutical research. Answer. D. Conducting pharmaceutical research. Question 245. What does the abbreviation, DRAP, stand for? A. Drug Regulatory and Authorization Program. B. Drug Research and Approval Panel. C. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. D. Drug Registration and Assessment Process. Answer. C. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. Question 246. The Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan is a part of which ministry? A. Ministry of Health. B. Ministry of Science and Technology. C. Ministry of Commerce. D. Ministry of Finance. Answer. A. Ministry of Health. Question 247. Which of the following is not a category of medicine regulated by DRAP? A. Over-the-counter OTC medicines. B. Prescription-only medicines, palm. C. Traditional herbal medicines. D. Dietary supplements. Answer. D. Dietary supplements. Question 248. Which department within DRAP is responsible for issuing marketing authorizations for new drugs? A. Pharmacovigilance and Drug Safety Department. B. Registration and Licensing Department. 
C. Clinical Trials Department D. Drug Evaluation and Research Department Answer. D. Drug Evaluation and Research Department Question 249 The process of ensuring the quality, safety, and efficacy of a drug before it can be marketed is known as A. Post-marketing surveillance B. Drug registration C. Good manufacturing practice GMP D. Drug prequalification Answer. B. Drug registration Question 250 which international organization's guidelines are often used as a reference for drug registration in Pakistan? A. World Health Organization, WHO. B. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. C. European Medicines Agency, EMA. D. International Conference on Harmonization, IC. Answer. A. World Health Organization, WHO. Question 251. The primary objective of pharmacovigilance is to a, promote the use of generic medicines. B. Monitor the safety of medicines and report adverse reactions. C. Ensure drug manufacturers comply with regulations. D. Evaluate the efficacy of new drugs. Answer. B. Monitor the safety of medicines and report adverse reactions. Question 252. Which schedule of the Drug Act in Pakistan includes controlled substances with the highest potential for abuse? A. Schedule 1. B. Schedule 2. C. Schedule 3. D. Schedule 4. Answer. A. Schedule 1. Question 253. What is the maximum validity period of a drug manufacturing license issued by DRAP? A. One year. B. 3 years. C. 5 years. D. 10 years. Answer. C. 5 years. Question 254. A pharmacy owner must renew their pharmacy license with DRAP every. A. 6 months. B. 1 year. C. 2 years. D. 3 years. Answer. D. 3 years. Question 255. The National Essential Medicine List in Pakistan includes of all commercially available medicines in the country. B. Medicines deemed essential for basic health care needs. C. Medicines that require special authorization for import. D. Medicines manufactured by local pharmaceutical companies. Answer. B. Medicines deemed essential for basic health care needs. Question 256. Which document is submitted to DRAP to apply for a clinical trial in Pakistan? A. Investigational New Drug IND Application. B. New Drug Application NDA. C. Clinical Trial Application CTA. D. Drug Master File DMF. Answer. C. Clinical Trial Application, CTA. Question 257. The shelf life of a pharmaceutical product is also known as A. Expiry date. B. Manufacturing date. C. Batch number. D. Registration number. Answer. A. Expiry date. Question 258. The process by which a drug is broken down, metabolized, and eliminated from the body is called A. Absorption B. Distribution C. Biotransformation D. Excretion Answer. C. Biotransformation Question 259. Which route of drug administration provides the fastest onset of action? A. Oral B. Intravenous IV. C. Intramuscular IM. D. Subcutaneous SC. Answer. B. Intravenous IV. Question 260. Which of the following drugs is classified as a Schedule II controlled substance in Pakistan? A. Aspirin. B. Paracetamol. C. Morphine. D. Ibuprofen. 
Answer. C. Morphine. Question 261. In the context of drug regulation, GMP stands for A. Good Manufacturing Practice B. Generic Medicine Protocol C. Government Monitoring Procedure D. General Marketing Principle Answer. A. Good Manufacturing Practice Question 262. The abbreviation, ADR, in pharmacology stands for A. Adverse Drug Reaction B. Advanced Drug Research C. Approved Drug Registry D. Association of Drug Regulators Answer. A. Adverse Drug Reaction Question 263. Which of the following is not a side effect of corticosteroid use? A. Weight gain. B. Hypertension. C. Hypoglycemia. D. Osteoporosis. Answer. C. Hypoglycemia. Question 264. Which class of antibiotics is known for its potential to cause tendinitis and tendon rupture? A. Aminoglycosides. B. Macrolides. C. Fluoroquinolones. D. Tetracyclines. Answer. C. Fluoroquinolones. Question 265. The abbreviation, OTC, in the context of pharmacy stands for A. Over-the-counter. B. On-time care. C. Outpatient treatment center. D. Overdose testing criteria. Answer. A. Over-the-counter. Question 266. Which vitamin deficiency is associated with the development of scurvy? A. Vitamin A. B. Vitamin C. C. Vitamin D. D. Vitamin K. Answer. B. Vitamin C. Question 267. The drug, warfarin, is classified as A. An anticoagulant. B. An antipyretic. C. An antihypertensive. D. An anticonvulsant. Answer. A. An anticoagulant. Question 268. Which of the following medications is commonly used to treat acid reflux and peptic ulcers? A. Paracetamol. B. Omeprazole. C. Amoxicillin. D. Atorvastatin. Answer. B. Omeprazole. Question 269. Which of the following is not a common side effect of NSAIDs? A. Headache. B. Stomach ulcers. C. Liver damage. D. Constipation. Answer. D. Constipation. Question 270. Which drug is used to treat hypertension and angina? A. Metformin. B. Amlodipine. C. Warfarin. D. Omeprazole. Answer. B. Amlodipine. Question 271. What does the abbreviation, OD, stand for in prescription writing? A. Overdose. B. On demand. C. Once daily. D. Outside dose. Answer. C. Once daily. Question 272. Which of the following medications is an antipyretic? A. Aspirin. B. Insulin. C. Amoxicillin. D. Metoprolol. Answer. A. Aspirin. Question 273. The generic name for Tylenol is A. Ibuprofen. B. Acetaminophen. C. Naproxen. D. Aspirin. Answer. B. Acetaminophen. Question 274. Which of the following drug classes is used to treat depression? A. Beta blockers. B. Anticoagulants. C. Antidepressants. D. Antihistamines. Answer. C. Antidepressants. Question 275. Warfarin is classified as A. An antibiotic. B. An anticoagulant. C. An antipyretic. 
D. A. Diuretic. Answer. B. An anticoagulant. Question 276. Which of the following statements about antibiotics is correct? A. They are effective against viral infections. B. They are all administered orally. C. They do not have any side effects. D. They are used to control blood pressure. Answer. A. They are effective against viral infections. Question 277. What does PRN mean in medical terms? A. Patient referral needed. B. Prescription ready now. C. Pro renata as needed. D. Post renal nephron. Answer. C. Pro renata as needed. Question 278. Which medication is commonly used to treat acid reflux and heartburn? A. Citalopram. B. Lansoprazole. C. Morphine. D. Phenytoin. Answer. B. Lansoprazole. Question 279. Which of the following is a common side effect of corticosteroid use? A. Weight gain. B. Hypertension. C. Hypoglycemia. D. Dry mouth. Answer. A. Weight gain. Question 280. The primary function of an ACE inhibitor is to A. Reduce blood pressure. B. Treat fungal infections. C. Increase heart rate. D. Lower cholesterol levels. Answer. A. Reduce blood pressure. Question 281. Which of the following drugs is a bronchodilator used to treat asthma? A. Ibuprofen. B. Albuterol. C. Sertraline. D. Fluoxetine. Answer. B. Albuterol. Question 282. Methotrexate is commonly used to treat which condition? A. Diabetes. B. Rheumatoid arthritis. C. Hypothyroidism. D. Hypertension. Answer. B. Rheumatoid arthritis. Question 283. Which medication is commonly used to treat bacterial infections? A. Prednisone. B. Furosemide. C. Amoxicillin. D. Levothyroxine. Answer. C. Amoxicillin. Question 284. Which of the following medications is a statin used to lower cholesterol levels? A. Metformin. B. Atorvastatin. C. Metoprolol. D. Warfarin. Answer. B. Atorvastatin. Question 285. What is the primary function of insulin in the body? A. Reduce blood pressure. B. Lower blood glucose levels. C. Treat bacterial infections. D. Improve bone density. Answer. B. Lower blood glucose levels. Question 286. Which drug is used to counteract opioid overdoses and reverse their effects? A. Naloxone. B. Diphenhydramine. C. Metoclopramide. D. Digoxin. Answer. A. Naloxone. Question 287. The generic name for Lipitor is? A. Simvastatin. B. Losartan. C. Atorvastatin. D. Resuvastatin. Answer. C. Atorvastatin. Question 288. Which of the following drug classes is commonly used to treat type 2 diabetes? A. Beta blockers. B. Angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs. C. Sulfonylureas. D. Anticoagulants. Answer. C. Sulfonylureas. Question 289. Which medication is used to prevent blood clots in patients with atrial fibrillation? A. Aspirin. B. Heparin. C. Warfarin. D. Metformin. Answer. C. Warfarin. Question 290. Bisphosphonates are commonly prescribed to treat a high blood pressure. B. Osteoporosis. 
C. Diabetes. D. Gout. Answer. B. Osteoporosis. Question 291. Which of the following drugs is a stimulant commonly used to treat ADHD? A. Lorazepam. B. Methylphenidate. C. Haloperidol. D. Quetiapine. Answer. B. Methylphenidate. Question 292. Which of the following medications is used to treat seizures and epilepsy? A. Metformin. B. Prednisone. C. Levetiracetam. D. Simvastatin. Answer. C. Levetiracetam. Question 293. Which medication is commonly used to treat seasonal allergies? A. Lorazepam. B. Fluticasone. C. Risperidone. D. Ondansetron. Answer. B. Fluticasone. Question 294. Which of the following is not a schedule for drugs in Pakistan? A. Schedule 1. B. Schedule 2. C. Schedule 3. D. Schedule 4. Answer. C. Schedule 3. Question 295. The Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP was established in which year? A. 2011. B. 2012. C. 2013. D. 2014. Answer. B. 2012. Question 296. Which of the following is an example of a controlled substance in Pakistan? A. Aspirin. B. Paracetamol. C. Morphine. D. Vitamin C. Answer. C. Morphine. Question 297. The term, NOC, in the pharmaceutical industry stands for A. New Order Certificate B. No Objection Certificate C. New Operational Criteria D. National Organic Chemicals Answer. B. No Objection Certificate Question 298. The abbreviation, OTC, in pharmacy refers to A. Over-the-counter B. Outside the clinic C. Over-the-treatment center D. Outside the campus Answer. A. Over-the-counter Question 299. Which law governs the registration, import, and export of drugs in Pakistan? A. Drugs Act, 1976. B. Pharmacy Act, 1967. C. Drug Regulatory Ordinance, 2002. D. Controlled Substance Act, 1997. Answer. C. Drug Regulatory Ordinance, 2002. Question 300. The official pharmacopoeia of Pakistan is prepared by A. World Health Organization, WHO B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP C. Pakistan Medical Association, PMA D. Pakistan Pharmacists Association, PPA Answer. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP Question 301 which of the following is a common side effect of a certain antihistamine drug? A. Increased appetite. B. Drowsiness. C. Weight loss. D. Hypertension. Answer. B. Drowsiness. Question 302. Which vitamin deficiency leads to the disease known as beriberi? A. Vitamin A. B. Vitamin B1 thiamine. C. Vitamin C. D. Vitamin D. Answer. B. Vitamin B1 thiamine. Question 303. Which of the following drugs is used to treat hypertension, high blood pressure? A. Insulin. B. Metformin. C. Amlodipine. D. Aspirin. Answer. C. Amlodipine. Question 304. What is the generic name of the drug commonly known as Tylenol? A. Ibuprofen. B. Acetaminophen. C. Naproxen. D. Aspirin. Answer. B. Acetaminophen. 
Question 305. Which category of drugs is used to relieve pain without causing loss of consciousness? A. Analgesics. B. Anesthetics. C. Antibiotics. D. Antipyretics. Answer. A. Analgesics. Question 306. The process by which a drug is broken down and eliminated from the body is called A. Absorption. B. Biotransformation. C. Metabolism. D. Distribution. Answer. C. Metabolism. Question 307. Which of the following drugs is a proton pump inhibitor used to reduce stomach acid production? A. Cimetidine. B. Ranitidine. C. Omeprazole. D. Famotidine. Answer. C. Omeprazole. Question 308. Which of the following is an example of a statin drug used to lower cholesterol levels? A. Metformin. B. Atorvastatin. C. Losartan. D. Warfarin. Answer. B. Atorvastatin. Question 309. What is the primary function of red blood cells in the human body? A. Oxygen transport. B. Fighting infections. C. Producing enzymes. D. Regulating blood sugar. Answer. A. Oxygen transport. Question 310. Which vitamin is essential for the synthesis of blood clotting factors? A. Vitamin A. B. Vitamin B12. C. Vitamin C. D. Vitamin K. Answer. D. Vitamin K. Question 311. Which of the following is not a common side effect of antibiotics? A. Diarrhea. B. Nausea. C. Constipation. D. Allergic reactions. Answer. C. Constipation. Question 312. Which drug class is used to treat depression and anxiety disorders? A. Antipsychotics. B. Benzodiazepines. C. Beta blockers. D. Antidepressants. Answer. D. Antidepressants. Question 313. What is the standard adult dose of paracetamol, acetaminophen, for pain relief? A. 250 mg every 6 hours. B. 500 mg every 4 hours. C. 650 mg every 8 hours. D. 1000 mg every 12 hours. Answer. B. 500 mg every 4 hours. Question 314. Which of the following is an adverse effect of long-term steroid use? A. Hypotension. B. Weight gain. C. Hypoglycemia. D. Bradycardia. Answer. B. Weight gain. Question 315. Which drug is commonly used to treat type 2 diabetes mellitus? A. Insulin glargine. B. Metformin. C. Prednisolone. D. Aspirin. Answer. B. Metformin. Question 316. What is the mode of action of nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAIDs? A. Inhibition of prostaglandin synthesis. B. Enhancement of serotonin release. C. Blockade of histamine receptors. D. Inhibition of acetylcholinesterase. Answer. A. Inhibition of prostaglandin synthesis. Question 317. Which of the following is a common side effect of antihypertensive medications? A. Dry cough. B. Increased heart rate. C. Hypoglycemia. D. Diarrhea. Answer. A. Dry cough. Question 318. The abbreviation, BP, on a drug label stands for A. Blood pressure. B. Bioavailability percentage. C. British Pharmacopoeia. D. Basic Pharmacology. Answer. C. British Pharmacopoeia. Question 319. Which of the following best defines an adverse drug reaction ADR? 
A. A drug that enhances the desired therapeutic effect. B. An unintended and harmful response to a medication. C. An allergic reaction caused by a medication. D. A positive reaction to a drug by a patient. Correct answer. B. Question 320. Medication errors can occur at various stages of the medication use process. Which of the following is not one of the stages where an error might occur? A. Prescription. B. Dispensing. C. Administration. D. Research. Correct answer. D. Question 321. Drug safety monitoring programs primarily aim to A. Promote off-label drug usage. B. Investigate potential drug interactions. C. Monitor the safety of medications post-approval. D. Encourage self-medication practices. Correct answer. C. Question 322. The process of evaluating and comparing the benefits and risks of a medication is known as A. Medication reconciliation. B. Drug utilization review. C. Risk assessment. D. Clinical trial. Correct answer. C. Question 323. Pharmacovigilance is the science and activities related to A. Studying the pharmacology of new drugs. B. Monitoring drug manufacturing processes. C. Monitoring and evaluating drug safety. D. Assessing drug utilization in different populations. Correct answer. C. Question 324. What is the primary purpose of a drug utilization review doer? A. To promote the use of expensive branded medications. B. To ensure medications are prescribed and used appropriately. C. To limit patient access to necessary medications. D. To maximize pharmaceutical industry profits. Correct answer. B. Question 325. A medication that requires a REMS risk evaluation and mitigation strategy is one that A. Poses a significant risk of abuse and addiction. B. Has a high cost and limited availability. C. Is indicated for a rare medical condition. D. Has serious risks that need to be managed to ensure its safe use. Correct answer. D. Question 326. Which of the following statements is true regarding medication errors? A. Medication errors are always the result of healthcare provider negligence. B. Medication errors cannot be prevented. C. Most medication errors have no impact on patient outcomes. D. Medication errors can cause harm or have the potential to cause harm. Correct answer. D. Question 327. The process of analyzing the potential risks of a new drug before it is introduced to the market is called A. Post-marketing surveillance B. Pre-clinical testing C. Clinical trials D. Pharmacopedemiology Correct answer B. Question 328 Which organization is responsible for regulating and overseeing drug approval and safety in Pakistan? A. FDA, Food and Drug Administration. B. WHO, World Health Organization. C. DRAP, Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. D. EMA, European Medicines Agency. Correct answer. C. Question 329. A drug interaction occurs when A. Two drugs have similar indications and can be used interchangeably. B. Two drugs combine to form a new, more potent medication. C. The effect of one drug is altered by the presence of another drug. D. A drug is taken with food, leading to enhanced absorption. Correct answer. C. Question 330. The process of identifying, characterizing, and reporting adverse drug reactions after a drug is marketed is known as a. Pre-approval monitoring. B. Clinical trial assessment. 
C. Post marketing surveillance. D. Investigational drug evaluation. Correct answer. C. Question 331. What is the primary purpose of a black box warning on a medication label? A. To indicate that the drug is contraindicated in certain populations. B. To highlight the potential risk of serious or life-threatening side effects. C. To encourage the use of the medication in off-label indications. D. To promote the use of the medication as a first-line treatment option. Correct answer. B. Question 332. Adherence to medication refers to A. The ability of a drug to alleviate symptoms effectively. B. The intentional or unintentional misuse of a medication. C. The frequency at which a medication should be taken. D. The extent to which a patient follows the prescribed treatment plan. Correct answer. D. Question 333. What is the main goal of drug safety reporting systems? A. To identify drugs with the highest market potential. B. To encourage the use of generic medications. C. To collect and analyze information about adverse drug reactions. D. To promote over-the-counter medication use. Correct answer. C. Question 334. A patient experiences an allergic reaction after taking a medication. This reaction can be classified as a type of A. Pharmacovigilance B. Adverse drug reaction C. Drug interaction D. Drug overdose Correct answer B. Question 335 Which of the following is an example of a preventable medication error? A. An unexpected drug interaction causing an adverse effect. B. An allergic reaction to a medication with no known history of allergy. C. A medication administration error due to similar sounding drug names. D. A therapeutic failure due to the drug's limited efficacy. Correct answer. C. Question 336. When conducting a drug utilization review, which of the following factors should be considered? A. Cost-effectiveness of the medication. B. The popularity of the medication among healthcare providers. C. The ethnicity of the patient. D. Patient's medical history and other medications they are taking. Correct answer. D. Question 337. Which of the following is not a common cause of medication errors? A. Core communication among healthcare professionals. B. Fatigue and stress of healthcare providers. C. Availability of medication samples. D. Strict adherence to guidelines and protocols. Correct answer. D. Question 338. The process of determining the safety and effectiveness of a medication through controlled studies involving human subjects is known as A. Pre-clinical testing B. Post-marketing surveillance C. Pharmacokinetic evaluation D. Clinical trials Correct answer D. Question 339 the use of a drug for a purpose outside the scope of its approved label is referred to as A. Off-label use B. Generic substitution C. Overdosing D. Polypharmacy Correct answer A. Question 340 Which of the following is a common medication error related to drug administration? A. Prescribing the wrong drug for a medical condition B. Incorrectly dispensing a medication from the pharmacy. C. Administering the medication using the correct route and dose. D. Failing to monitor a patient's response to the medication. Correct answer. C. Question 341. What is the definition of an adverse drug reaction ADR? A. A negative side effect of a medication. B. An expected and predictable reaction to a drug. 
See any reaction experienced after drug administration, whether related or unrelated. D. An intentional response to a drug's therapeutic effect. Answer. See any reaction experienced after drug administration, whether related or unrelated. Question 342. Which organization is responsible for regulating drug safety in Pakistan? A. FDA, Food and Drug Administration. B. WHO, World Health Organization. C. DRAP, Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. D. EMA, European Medicines Agency. Answer. C. DRAP, Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. Question 343. Medication errors can occur due to a lack of healthcare professional training, b patient non-compliance, c miscommunication between healthcare providers, d all of the above. Answer: D all of the above. Question 344. Drug utilization review doer is designed to a promote the off-label use of medications. B. Reduce the cost of medications for patients. C. Optimize medication therapy and patient safety. D. Expedite the drug approval process. Answer. C. Optimize medication therapy and patient safety. Question 345. Which of the following is not an example of a type of adverse drug reaction? A. Nausea and vomiting due to a chemotherapy drug. B. Dizziness after taking an antihistamine. C. Allergic skin rash from a new antibiotic. D. Liver toxicity caused by a statin drug. Answer. C. Allergic skin rash from a new antibiotic type B reaction. Question 346. The purpose of a black box warning on a drug label is to a. Indicate that the drug is safe for all populations. B. Highlight potential life-threatening risks associated with the drug. C. Encourage widespread use of the drug. D. Promote the drug for off-label use. Answer. B. Highlight potential life-threatening risks associated with the drug. Question 347. Which phase of clinical trials primarily focuses on evaluating drug safety and determining the most common adverse reactions? A. Phase 1. B. Phase 2. C. Phase 3. D. Phase 4. Answer. C. Phase 3. Question 348. The primary cause of medication errors in healthcare settings is A. Inadequate technology. B. Lack of healthcare professionals' attention to detail. C. Patient-related factors. D. Communication failures. Answer. D. Communication failures. Question 349. Which of the following is not an appropriate action to prevent medication errors? A. Using abbreviations and symbols to save time. B. Implementing computerized physician order entry systems. C. Double checking medication orders before administration. D. Encouraging open communication about errors to learn from them. Answer. A. Using abbreviations and symbols to save time. Question 350. What is the purpose of the MedWatch program in the United States? A. To report suspected adverse reactions to the FDA. B. To provide free medications to low-income patients. C. To monitor medication prices in the market. D. To provide discounts on prescription drugs. Answer. A. To report suspected adverse reactions to the FDA. Question 351. A drug-drug interaction occurs when A. A patient is prescribed multiple medications for the same condition. B. Two or more drugs interact to produce an unwanted effect. C. A patient develops an allergy to a drug after initial use. D. A patient experiences an adverse reaction to a drug. Answer. B. Two or more drugs interact to produce an unwanted effect. 
Question 352. Pharmacovigilance is the science and activities related to a. Developing new drugs b. Ensuring drug safety and monitoring adverse reactions c. Promoting generic drug use d. Encouraging medication compliance Answer. b. Ensuring drug safety and monitoring adverse reactions Question 353. The BEERS criteria is a tool used to a. Assess medication adherence in elderly patients. B. Evaluate the potential inappropriate use of medications in elderly patients. C. Determine the cost-effectiveness of drugs for older adults. D. Identify new drug interactions in elderly patients. Answer. B. Evaluate the potential inappropriate use of medications in elderly patients. Question 354. Which route of drug administration is least likely to cause medication errors? A. Intravenous IV. B. Intramuscular IM. C. Oral PO. D. Subcutaneous SC. Answer. C. Oral PO. Question 355. Which of the following is not a common factor contributing to medication errors? A. Fatigue and workload pressure. B. Lack of proper staff training. C. Advanced computerized medication order systems. D. Miscommunication among healthcare providers. Answer. C. Advanced computerized medication order systems. Question 356. Which organization publishes the FDA's Adverse Event Reporting System, FAERS data? A. WHO, World Health Organization. B. EMA, European Medicines Agency. C. CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. D. FDA, Food and Drug Administration. Answer. D. FDA, Food and Drug Administration. Question 357. The purpose of a drug master file, DMF, is to a provide information to the general public about a drug's safety profile. B. Allow manufacturers to keep drug ingredients secret from the FDA. C. Allow third-party access to proprietary drug manufacturing information. D. Provide confidential detailed information to the FDA about drug components. Answer. D. Provide confidential, detailed information to the FDA about drug components. Question 358. Which term refers to the study of how drugs move through the body, including their absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion? A. Pharmacology. B. Pharmacokinetics. C. Pharmacodynamics. D. Pharmacogenetics. Answer. B. Pharmacokinetics. Question 359. Which of the following is not an example of a medication error? A. A. Pharmacist dispenses the wrong medication to a patient. B. A. Nurse administers the correct medication at the wrong time. C. A. Patient experiences a known side effect of a drug. D. A. Physician prescribes the wrong dosage of a medication. Answer. C. A. Patient experiences a known side effect of a drug. Question 360. The responsibility for monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions in clinical trials lies with A. Patients participating in the trial. B. Clinical trial sponsors. C. Healthcare providers prescribing the drug. D. Institutional Review Boards. Answer. B. Clinical Trial Sponsors. Question 361. Which of the following is not a step in the medication use process where errors can occur? A. Drug Dispensing. B. Drug Manufacturing. C. Drug Administration. D. Drug Labeling. Answer. B. Drug Manufacturing. Question 362. Drug safety. 
Which organization is primarily responsible for monitoring and ensuring drug safety in Pakistan? A. WHO, World Health Organization. B. FDA, Food and Drug Administration. C. DRAP, Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. D. MHRA, Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency. Correct answer. C. DRAP, Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan. Question 363. Adverse Drug Reactions, ADR. An adverse drug reaction is best defined as A. The desired therapeutic effect of a drug. B. An unintentional and harmful response to a medication at normal doses. C. The occurrence of side effects related to drug overdosage. D. A reaction caused by drug-drug interactions. Correct answer. B. An unintentional and harmful response to a medication at normal doses. Question 364. Medication errors. Which of the following is not a common cause of medication errors in healthcare settings? A. Miscommunication during transitions of care. B. Look-alike and sound-alike medications. C. Strict adherence to established medication protocols. D. Illegible handwriting on prescriptions. Correct answer. C. Strict adherence to established medication protocols. Question 365. Drug Utilization Reviews Doer. What is the primary purpose of a Drug Utilization Review Doer? A. To identify potential drug interactions. B. To assess the cost-effectiveness of medications. C. To ensure compliance with pharmaceutical marketing regulations. D. To evaluate and improve medication use and patient outcomes. Correct answer. D. To evaluate and improve medication use and patient outcomes. Question 366. Adverse Drug Reactions, ADR. A patient develops a severe rash after taking a newly prescribed medication. Which type of ADR is most likely responsible for this reaction? A. Type A. Augmented reaction. B. Type B. Bizarre reaction. C. Type C. Chronic reaction. D. Type D. Delayed reaction. Correct answer. B. Type B. Bizarre reaction. Question 367. Medication errors. To prevent medication errors, healthcare professionals should employ the five rights. Which of the following is not one of the five rights? A. Right drug. B. Right dose. C. Right patient. D. Right time. E. Right diagnosis. Correct answer. E. Right diagnosis. Question 368. Drug Utilization Reviews Doer Which of the following is not a goal of conducting a drug utilization review doer? A. Improving medication therapy outcomes B. Identifying potential drug-related problems C. Promoting off-label use of medications D. Reducing medication errors Correct answer. C. Promoting off-label use of medications Question 369. What is the primary purpose of conducting a drug utilization review doer? A. To promote the use of generic medications. B. To identify potential medication errors and optimize drug therapy. C. To encourage self-medication practices. D. To minimize the use of over-the-counter drugs. Answer. B. Question 370. Adverse drug reactions, ADRs, are classified into how many major types? A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. D. 4. Answer. Circa. Question 371. Which of the following best describes an idiosyncratic adverse drug reaction? A. It occurs predictably and dose-dependent. B. It is caused by a known drug interaction. 
C. It is uncommon and not related to the pharmacological action of the drug. D. It results from long-term drug use. Answer. Circa. Question 372. The black box warning on a drug label signifies that the drug has been recalled from the market. B. The drug has a higher price compared to other medications. C. The drug poses a serious risk of adverse effects. D. The drug is only available for clinical trials. Answer. Circa. Question 373. Medication errors can occur due to all of the following except a miscommunication between healthcare providers. B. Look-alike or sound-alike drug names. C. Proper documentation and record keeping. D. Inadequate staff training. Answer. Circa. Question 374. The tall man lettering system is used to highlight drugs that are more expensive than others. B. Differentiate generic drugs from brand name drugs. C. Differentiate drugs with similar names to avoid medication errors. D. Identify drugs that have a high potential for abuse. Answer. Circa. Question 375. Which organization is responsible for regulating the safety and efficacy of drugs in Pakistan? A. World Health Organization, WHO. B. Drug Enforcement Administration, DIA. C. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. D. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Answer. Circa. Question 376. Which phase of clinical trials involves testing the drug on a large number of patients to assess its safety and efficacy? A. Phase 1. B. Phase 2. C. Phase 3. D. Phase 4. Answer. Circa. Question 377. The process of reporting adverse drug reactions to regulatory authorities is known as a medication reconciliation. B. Post-marketing surveillance. C. Clinical pharmacy. D. Pharmacovigilance. Answer. D. Question 378. Which of the following is not an example of a medication error? A. A pharmacist dispenses the wrong medication to a patient. B. A nurse administers the correct medication to the wrong patient. C. A patient experiences a known side effect of a medication. D. A physician prescribes the incorrect dosage of a medication. Answer. Circa. Question 379. Which category of adverse drug reactions involves exaggerated, but predictable, pharmacological effects of a drug? A. Type A. Augmented. Reactions. B. Type B. Bizarre. Reactions. C. Type C. Chronic. Reactions. D. Type D. Delayed. Reactions. Answer. A. Question 380. Which agency is responsible for monitoring adverse drug reactions and ensuring drug safety in Pakistan? A. World Health Organization, WHO. B. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. C. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. D. European Medicines Agency, EMA. Answer. Circa. Question 381. The process of reviewing patient medication regimens to identify and resolve drug-related problems is known as a Medication Therapy Management, MTM B. Medication Reconciliation C. Medication Dispensation Review D. Medication Utilization Assessment Answer A. Question 382 which of the following is an example of a medication error related to administration? A. A physician prescribes the wrong medication. B. A pharmacist dispenses the incorrect medication. C. A nurse administers a medication via the wrong route. D. A patient forgets to take their medication at the prescribed time. Answer. Circa. 
Question 383. A patient experiences severe respiratory distress after receiving a specific medication. This reaction is an example of which type of ADR? A type A augmented reaction. B type B bizarre reaction. C type C chronic reaction. D type D delayed reaction. Answer. B. Question 384. The process of evaluating a patient's medication regimen to ensure the most appropriate, effective, and safe use of medications is called a Medication Utilization Review MER. B. Medication Therapy Management MTM. C. Medication Error Assessment MEA. D. Medication Adherence Evaluation MEI. Answer. B. Question 385. Which of the following is not a common factor contributing to medication errors? A. Inadequate communication among healthcare professionals. B. Illegible handwriting on prescriptions. C. Strict adherence to established guidelines and protocols. D. Lack of patient education about medications. Answer. Circa. Question 386. The process of comparing a patient's current medication regimen against a new prescription to identify discrepancies is known as a medication discrepancy review, b medication reconciliation, c medication verification process, d medication consistency assessment. Answer. B. Question 387. Which organization issues drug recall notices in Pakistan when a drug is found to be harmful or defective? A. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council, PMDC. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. C. Pakistan Pharmacy Council, PCP. D. Pakistan Drug Testing Board, PDTB. Answer. B. Question 388. Which of the following is an example of a drug-drug interaction? A. A patient experiences an allergic reaction to a medication. B. A drug increases the absorption of another drug, leading to elevated blood levels. C. A patient experiences a side effect that is listed on the medication label. D. A medication is administered via the wrong route, leading to reduced effectiveness. Answer. B. Question 389. The process of systematically monitoring and evaluating medication use in a healthcare facility to optimize patient outcomes is known as a medication management program. B. Medication use evaluation, MUE. C. Medication effectiveness monitoring. D. Medication compliance assessment. Answer. B. Question 390. Which of the following best defines clinical pharmacy? A. A branch of pharmacy that deals with hospital management. B. The study of pharmaceutical chemistry. C. The application of pharmacology principles to patient care. D. The process of drug manufacturing in pharmaceutical industries. Answer. C. The application of pharmacology principles to patient care. Question 391. Medication therapy management, MTM, primarily focuses on a. Researching new drug formulations. B. Assessing the efficacy of herbal medicines. C. Optimizing medication used to improve patient outcomes. D. Quality control in pharmaceutical manufacturing. Answer. C. Optimizing medication used to improve patient outcomes. Question 392. Drug utilization review, DOER, is performed to A. Evaluate the effectiveness of marketing strategies for drugs. B. Assess the safety and appropriate use of medications. C. Determine the shelf life of pharmaceutical products. D. Identify potential drug candidates for clinical trials. Answer. 
B. Assess the safety and appropriate use of medications. Question 393. What is the primary goal of pharmaceutical care? A. Increasing the sales of pharmaceutical products. B. Enhancing patient compliance with medication. C. Maximizing profits for pharmaceutical companies. D. Achieving positive patient outcomes through drug therapy. Answer. D. Achieving positive patient outcomes through drug therapy. Question 394. A patient who experiences an allergic reaction after taking a medication is an example of a n. A. Idiosyncratic reaction. B. Adverse drug event. C. Drug-drug interaction. D. Pharmacokinetic variation. Answer. B. Adverse drug event. Question 395. What is the purpose of drug information resources in clinical pharmacy practice? A. To promote off-label drug use. B. To provide marketing materials for pharmaceutical products. C. To enhance drug advertising to healthcare professionals. D. To support evidence-based decision-making in patient care. Answer. D. To support evidence-based decision-making in patient care. Question 396. Which of the following drug information resources provides evidence-based drug information for healthcare professionals? A. Drug package inserts. B. Drug advertisements in medical journals. C. Drug representatives presentations. D. Pharmacopoeias and clinical databases. Answer. D. Pharmacopoeias and clinical databases. Question 397. The process of converting a drug dose from milligrams mg to milliliters ml for accurate administration is known as a dose conversion. B. Pharmaceutical calculation. C. Drug formulation. D. Medication reconciliation. Answer. B. Pharmaceutical calculation. Question 398. Pharmacokinetics is the study of A. Drug interactions with food B. Drug absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion C. Drug marketing and advertising D. Drug side effects and adverse reactions Answer. B. Drug absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion Question 399. Which of the following is an example of a medication therapy management intervention? A. Marketing a new drug to healthcare professionals. B. Conducting a clinical trial for a drug candidate. C. Reviewing a patient's medication regimen and suggesting adjustments. D. Analyzing the pharmacokinetics of a drug. Answer. C. Reviewing a patient's medication regimen and suggesting adjustments. Question 400. The term, pharmacodynamics, refers to the study of A. The action of drugs within the body. B. The chemical composition of pharmaceutical products. C. The therapeutic indications for a drug. D. The interaction between drug molecules and enzymes. Answer. Of the action of drugs within the body. Question 401. A patient taking warfarin should avoid consuming large amounts of vitamin K rich foods because A. Vitamin K enhances the effectiveness of warfarin. B. Vitamin K reduces the absorption of warfarin. C. Vitamin K increases the risk of bleeding with warfarin. D. Vitamin K decreases the half-life of warfarin in the body. Answer. C. Vitamin K increases the risk of bleeding with warfarin. Question 402. Which of the following factors can influence drug metabolism in the liver? A. Gender and age of the patient. B. Drug formulation and brand name. C. Medication indication and dosage form. D. Storage conditions of the drug. Answer. A. Gender and age of the patient. Question 403. 
A pharmacist receives a prescription for a medication with a drug-drug interaction with the patient's current medication. What is the best course of action? A dispense the medication as prescribed and monitor the patient closely. B. Inform the prescriber about the potential drug-drug interaction. C. Substitute the prescribed medication with an alternative. D. Ignore the interaction, as it may not be significant. Answer. B. Inform the prescriber about the potential drug-drug interaction. Question 404. Which of the following is an example of a drug-drug interaction? A. A patient experiences dizziness after taking a medication. B. A drug increases the absorption of another drug in the intestine. C. A drug formulation causes skin irritation in some patients. D. A patient has an allergic reaction to a medication. Answer. B. A drug increases the absorption of another drug in the intestine. Question 405. When conducting medication reconciliation, a pharmacist should a. Verify the patient's insurance coverage for prescribed medications. B. Review the patient's medication history and compare it to the current regimen. C. Promote the use of generic medications to reduce health care costs. D. Perform a physical examination to assess the patient's response to medications. Answer. B. Review the patient's medication history and compare it to the current regimen. Question 406. Which of the following is an example of a medication error? A. A patient experiences a known side effect of a prescribed medication. B. A pharmacist provides drug information to a healthcare professional. C. A nurse administers the wrong medication to a patient. D. A patient is non-compliant with their medication regimen. Answer. C. A nurse administers the wrong medication to a patient. Question 407. A patient with diabetes requires insulin to manage their blood sugar levels. Which type of drug therapy is this an example of? A. Acute therapy. B. Maintenance therapy. C. Palliative therapy. D. Supportive therapy. Answer. B. Maintenance Therapy Question 408 A pharmacist is counseling a pregnant patient about the safe use of medications. Which category of drugs is generally avoided during pregnancy due to potential harm to the fetus? A. Category A B. Category B C. Category C D. Category X Answer D. Category X. Question 409. The process of monitoring a patient's drug therapy, identifying drug-related problems, and implementing interventions to optimize outcomes is known as A. Drug Utilization Review. B. Medication Therapy Management. C. Pharmaceutical Care Planning. D. Adverse Drug Reaction Monitoring. Answer. B. Medication Therapy Management Question 410 Which of the following best describes clinical pharmacy? A. Dispensing medications in a hospital setting B. Focusing on compounding pharmaceutical products C. Application of pharmaceutical knowledge to patient care D. Conducting research on new drug development Answer C. Application of pharmaceutical knowledge to patient care. Question 411. Medication therapy management, MTM, involves A. Ensuring accurate medication dispensing. B. Collaborating with physicians to develop new drugs. C. Optimizing drug therapy for better patient outcomes. D. Managing pharmacy inventory efficiently. Answer. C. Optimizing drug therapy for better patient outcomes. Question 412. The role of a pharmacist is an assistant director at DRAP Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan primarily focuses on a clinical trials of new drugs.
B. Regulatory approval of pharmaceutical products. C. Compounding specialized medications. D. Medication counseling for patients. Answer. B. Regulatory approval of pharmaceutical products. Question 413. Drug Information Resources Assist Healthcare Professionals in A. Marketing Pharmaceutical Products B. Finding the Cheapest Medications for Patients C. Making Evidence-Based and Informed Decisions About Drug Therapy D. Writing Prescriptions for Controlled Substances Answer. C. Making Evidence-Based and Informed Decisions About Drug Therapy Question 414 which of the following is not a typical component of medication therapy management MTM? A. Medication review. B. Patient education. C. Compounding medications. D. Monitoring drug therapy outcomes. Answer. C. Compounding medications. Question 415. The primary goal of drug utilization review doer, is to a. Maximize pharmaceutical sales. B. Optimize drug therapy and patient safety. C. Reduce the number of prescribed medications. D. Limit patient access to certain drugs. Answer. B. Optimize drug therapy and patient safety. Question 416. What is the main responsibility of a pharmacist in medication reconciliation? A. Prescribing new medications for patients. B. Ensuring the proper storage of medications. C. Identifying and resolving medication discrepancies. D. Compounding specialized dosage forms. Answer. C. Identifying and resolving medication discrepancies. Question 417. Which of the following is an example of a medication-related problem that pharmacists may help resolve in medication therapy management? A. Designing a new drug manufacturing process. B. Reducing medication costs for the pharmacy. C. Preventing drug-drug interactions. D. Managing pharmacy inventory. Answer. C. Preventing drug-drug interactions. Question 418. Pharmacovigilance is the science and activities related to A. Investigating the cost of pharmaceutical products. B. Monitoring drug therapy adherence. C. Detecting, assessing, and preventing adverse effects of drugs. D. Compounding sterile medications. Answer. C. Detecting, assessing, and preventing adverse effects of drugs. Question 419. A pharmacist working in a hospital setting is responsible for A. Conducting clinical trials on new drugs. B. Providing medication counseling to outpatients. C. Managing a retail pharmacy's business operations. D. Reviewing and adjusting patients' medication regimens. Answer. D. Reviewing and adjusting patients' medication regimens. Question 420. In medication therapy, what is pharmacokinetics primarily concerned with? A. How drugs interact with each other. B. How drugs affect the body. C. How drugs are absorbed, distributed, metabolized, and excreted. D. How drugs are manufactured and packaged. Answer. See how drugs are absorbed, distributed, metabolized, and excreted. Question 421. Drug interactions can occur due to A. Inadequate medication counseling for patients. B. Concurrent use of multiple medications. C. Lack of proper medication storage. D. Expired medications. Answer. B. Concurrent use of multiple medications. Question 422. The process of reviewing a patient's medications to ensure the most appropriate and effective therapy is known as A. Medication reconciliation. B. Medication therapy management. C. Medication adherence. D. Medication compounding. 
Answer. B. Medication therapy management. Question 423. Which resource provides up-to-date information on drug interactions, dosages, and adverse effects? A. Drug package inserts. B. Pharmaceutical textbooks. C. Drug information centers. D. Drug formularies. Answer. C. Drug information centers. Question 424. What is the primary purpose of a drug formulary? A. To control medication costs. B. To promote brand name drugs over generic equivalents. C. To limit access to certain medications. D. To ensure the availability of essential medications. Answer. D. To ensure the availability of essential medications. Question 425. The process of verifying the authenticity, quality, and safety of pharmaceutical products is known as A. Medication review B. Drug utilization review C. Pharmaceutical validation D. Pharmaceutical analysis Answer. C. Pharmaceutical validation Question 426 Adverse Drug Reaction ADR, reporting is essential for A. Marketing new drugs B. Monitoring medication adherence C. Identifying and preventing potential drug safety issues D. Improving pharmacy sales Answer. C. Identifying and preventing potential drug safety issues Question 427 the key focus of pharmacoeconomics is a. Studying the chemical structure of drugs b. Evaluating the economic impact of drug therapy c. Conducting clinical trials on new medications d. Designing new dosage forms for drugs Answer. b. Evaluating the economic impact of drug therapy Question 428 what role does a pharmacist play in medication adherence? A. Prescribing medications for patients. B. Ensuring patients take their medications as prescribed. C. Compounding specialized formulations for patients. D. Monitoring the efficacy of medications in clinical trials. Answer. B. Ensuring patients take their medications as prescribed. Question 429. The process of evaluating a patient's response to a specific medication is known as A. Medication counseling B. Medication reconciliation C. Medication monitoring D. Medication dispensing Answer. C. Medication monitoring Question 430. A patient is taking drug A and drug B. The pharmacist identifies a potential interaction between the two drugs that may decrease drug A's effectiveness. What is this type of drug interaction called? A. Synergistic effect. B. Additive effect. C. Antagonistic effect. D. Potentiation. Answer. C. Antagonistic effect. Question 431. Which of the following is a primary responsibility of a pharmacist in a community pharmacy setting? A. Conducting research on new drug molecules. B. Managing the drug formulary of a hospital. C. Providing medication counseling to patients. D. Regulating the pharmaceutical industry. Answer. C. Providing medication counseling to patients. Question 432. Which organization is responsible for regulating pharmaceuticals in Pakistan? A. WHO. B. FDA. C. DRAP. D. EMA. Correct answer. C. DRAP. Question 433. GMP stands for. A. Good Marketing Practices. B. Good Management Practices. C. Good Manufacturing Practices D. Great Manufacturing Protocols Correct answer. 
See good manufacturing practices. Question 434. What is the primary purpose of GMP in the pharmaceutical industry? A. To maximize profits for the company. B. To ensure the safety and quality of pharmaceutical products. C. To expedite drug registration process. D. To promote generic drug manufacturers. Correct answer. B. To ensure the safety and quality of pharmaceutical products. Question 435. What is the full form of API in the context of the pharmaceutical industry? A. Active pharmaceutical ingredient. B. Advanced pharmaceutical inspection. C. Alternative pharmaceutical ingredient. D. Active production index. Correct answer. A. Active pharmaceutical ingredient. Question 436. Drug registration is the process of a. Approving a drug for marketing and sale in a specific country. B. Patenting a new drug. C. Developing a new drug. D. Exporting drugs to other countries. Correct answer. A. Approving a drug for marketing and sale in a specific country. Question 437. What is the maximum validity period of a drug registration certificate in Pakistan? A. 1 year. B. 3 years. C. 5 years. D. 10 years. Correct answer. C. 5 years. Question 438. Which document contains detailed information about a drug's safety and efficacy data, proposed indications, dosage, and administration? A. Drug Registration Certificate, DRC. B. Drug Master File, DMF. C. Investigational New Drug Application, INDA. D. Summary of Product Characteristics, SPC. Correct answer. D. Summary of Product Characteristics, SPC. Question 439. The abbreviated New Drug Application, ANDA, is applicable for a. New drugs that have not been previously marketed. B. Generic drugs seeking approval based on bioequivalence to an already approved reference drug. C. Investigational drugs used in clinical trials. D. Over-the-counter drugs. Correct answer. B. Generic drugs seeking approval based on bioequivalence to an already approved reference drug. Question 440. In the drug approval process, Phase 3 clinical trials are mainly conducted to a. Investigate drug-drug interactions. B. Assess long-term safety and efficacy on a larger patient population. C. Explore drug pharmacokinetics. D. Study drug formulation methods. Correct answer. B. Assess long-term safety and efficacy on a larger patient population. Question 441. Which regulatory authority in Pakistan is responsible for issuing drug manufacturing licenses? A. Ministry of Health. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. C. Pakistan Medical Commission, PMC. D. Pakistan Pharmacists Association, PPA. Correct answer. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. Question 442. What is the purpose of post-marketing surveillance for pharmaceutical products? A. To track the sales of drugs. B. To monitor the efficacy of the drug during clinical trials. C. To identify and assess adverse drug reactions after the drug is on the market. D. To promote the drug to healthcare professionals. Correct answer. C. To identify and assess adverse drug reactions after the drug is on the market. Question 443. Which of the following organizations is responsible for coordinating international drug regulations and promoting drug safety worldwide? A. WHO. B. FDA. C. EMA. D. IC. Correct answer. 
DIG International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use. Question 444. The Orange Book is published by the FDA and contains information about a dietary supplements. B. Approved drug products and therapeutic equivalence evaluations. C. Medical devices. D. Drug patents. Correct answer. B. Approved drug products and therapeutic equivalence evaluations. Question 445. Which regulation ensures the proper handling, distribution, and storage of pharmaceutical products to maintain their quality and efficacy? A. Good Laboratory Practices GLP. B. Good Distribution Practices GDP. C. Good Clinical Practices GCP. D. Good Documentation Practices GDP. Correct answer. B. Good Distribution Practices GDP. Question 446. In Pharmaceutical Quality Control, U stands for a. Out of specification. B. Out of scope. C. Out of standard. D. Out of service. Correct answer. A. Out of specification. Question 447. Which of the following is not a primary packaging material for pharmaceutical products? A. Glass. B. Plastic. C. Aluminum. D. Cardboard. Correct answer. D. Cardboard. Question 448. The process of removing water from a liquid pharmaceutical preparation to produce a dry product is known as A. Filtration. B. Sterilization. C. Lyophilization. D. Emulsification. Correct answer. C. Lyophilization freeze drying. Question 449. Which regulatory document contains information about the safety, efficacy, and quality of a drug product? A. Investigational New Drug Application, INDA. B. New Drug Application, NDA. C. Drug Master File, DMF. D. Summary of Product Characteristics, SPC. Correct answer. B. New Drug Application, NDA. Question 450. The process of exposing a pharmaceutical product to predetermined environmental conditions to determine its stability is called a potency testing. B. Validation. C. Stability testing. D. Bioburden testing. Correct answer. C. Stability testing. Question 451. Which of the following is a function of the pharmacovigilance department? A. Conducting clinical trials. B. Reviewing drug registration applications. C. Monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions. D. Inspecting manufacturing facilities. Correct answer. C. Monitoring and reporting adverse drug reactions. Question 452. The expiry date on a drug product indicates at the date after which the product is considered safe to use. B. The date after which the product's effectiveness cannot be guaranteed. C. The date of manufacture. D. The date of approval by the regulatory authority. Correct answer. B. The date after which the product's effectiveness cannot be guaranteed. Question 453. Which of the following documents serves as an instruction manual for the manufacturing process of a pharmaceutical product? A. Standard Operating Procedure, SOP. B. Certificate of Analysis, COA. C. Investigational New Drug Application, INDA. D. New Drug Application, NDA. Correct answer. A. Standard Operating Procedure, SOP. Question 454. Which regulatory authority is responsible for issuing a wholesale drug license to drug distributors in Pakistan? A. Ministry of Health. B. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan, DRAP. C. Pakistan Medical Commission, PMC. 
D. Pakistan Pharmacists Association PPA. Correct answer. D. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP. Question 455. Which of the following is a biotechnological product? A. Aspirin. B. Paracetamol. C. Insulin. D. Ibuprofen. Correct answer. C. Insulin. Question 456. Which regulatory authority is responsible for drug approval and registration in Pakistan? A. World Health Organization WHO. B. Food and Drug Administration FDA. C. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP. D. European Medicines Agency EMA. Answer. C. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP. Question 457. What is the primary purpose of drug registration? A. Ensuring drug affordability. B. Ensuring drug efficacy. C. Ensuring drug availability. D. Ensuring drug safety. Answer. D. Ensuring drug safety. Question 458. GMP stands for A. General Medication Procedure. B. General Manufacturing Protocol. C. Good Manufacturing Practices. D. Great Manufacturing Principles. Answer. C. Good Manufacturing Practices. Question 459. What is the minimum required validity of a drug registration certificate in Pakistan? A. One year. B. Two years. C. Three years. D. Five years. Answer. C. Three years. Question 460. Which document contains detailed information about a drug's safety and efficacy and is submitted for registration? A. Drug Master File DMF. B. Investigational New Drug Application INDA. C. Common Technical Document CTD. D. Drug Safety Report DSR. Answer. C. Common Technical Document CTD. Question 461. Which regulatory phase involves testing a drug on a small group of healthy volunteers to assess safety and dosage? A. Phase 1. B. Phase 2. C. Phase 3. D. Phase 4. Answer. A. Phase 1. Question 462. Which regulatory phase involves testing a drug on a larger group of patients to evaluate efficacy and side effects? A. Phase 1. B. Phase 2. C. Phase 3. D. Phase 4. Answer. B. Phase 2. Question 463. A drug with OTC labeling can be purchased. A. Only with a prescription. B. Without a prescription. C. From foreign countries only. D. From licensed wholesalers only. Answer. B. Without a prescription. Question 464. Which of the following is not a primary objective of post-marketing surveillance? A. Identifying new side effects. B. Evaluating drug effectiveness in real-world conditions. C. Approving new drugs for the market. D. Monitoring drug quality and safety after approval. Answer. C. Approving new drugs for the market. Question 465. Which regulatory authority is responsible for conducting inspections of manufacturing facilities to ensure GMP compliance? A. WHO. B. FDA. C. DRAP. D. EMA. Answer. C. DRAP. Question 466. Which of the following statements about the Drug Registration Board DRB, in Pakistan is true? A. It is an advisory body without regulatory powers. B. It can directly approve drugs for the market. C. Its decisions are legally binding. D. It oversees the functioning of private hospitals. Answer. A. It is an advisory body without regulatory powers. 
Question 467. What is the main purpose of the Orange Book? A. Regulation of food additives. B. Regulation of drug pricing. C. Listing approved drug products and their equivalents. D. Establishing GMP guidelines. Answer. C. Listing approved drug products and their equivalents. Question 468. A drug that has been granted, orphan drug status, is intended for the treatment of A. Common diseases B. Rare diseases C. Chronic diseases D. Infectious diseases Answer. B. Rare diseases Question 469. The drug recall process is initiated when of the drug's expiry date approaches. B. A serious adverse event is reported. C. The drug's price exceeds the approved limit. D. The drug's sales decline in the market. Answer. B. A serious adverse event is reported. Question 470. Which organization collaborates with WHO to ensure the quality, safety, and efficacy of essential medicines? A. United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF. B. World Trade Organization, WTO. C. International Monetary Fund, IMF. D. World Bank. Answer. A. United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF. Question 471. Which international organization is responsible for coordinating and standardizing drug regulation practices worldwide? A. WHO. B. FDA. C. DRAP. D. EMA. Answer. A. WHO. Question 472. Which of the following documents contains information about the drug's pharmacology, toxicology, and clinical data? A. Investigational New Drug Application, INDA. B. Common Technical Document, CTD. C. Drug Master File, DMF. D. Drug Safety Report, DSR. Answer. A. Investigational New Drug Application, INDA. Question 473. GMP regulations aim to ensure that A. Drugs are affordable for the general population. B. Drugs are manufactured in accordance with environmental standards. C. Drugs meet quality standards and are safe for consumption. D. Drugs are marketed effectively. Answer. C. Drugs meet quality standards and are safe for consumption. Question 474. Which of the following statements about a bioequivalent drug is true? A. It is a generic drug produced by a different manufacturer. B. It has a different active ingredient than the reference drug. C. It has the same therapeutic effect as the reference drug. D. It is only available in certain regions. Answer. C. It has the same therapeutic effect as the reference drug. Question 475. Which authority grants a Certificate of Pharmaceutical Product, CPP, after reviewing the drug registration application? A. FDA. B. WHO. C. EMA. D. DRAP. Answer. D. DRAP. Question 476. The abbreviation, ANDA, stands for A. Abbreviated New Drug Application. B. Advanced Notice of Drug Approval. C. Authorized New Drug Application. D. Associated Notice for Drug Approval. Answer. A. Abbreviated New Drug Application. Question 477. Which of the following documents should be submitted to import drugs into Pakistan? A. Drug Master File, DMF. B. Certificate of Pharmaceutical Product, CPP. C. Drug Authorization Letter, DAL. D. Import License for Drugs, ILD. Answer. D. Import License for Drugs, ILD. Question 478. 
What is the primary purpose of the drug safety unit in a regulatory authority? A. Conducting clinical trials. B. Monitoring adverse drug reactions. C. Evaluating drug efficacy. D. Inspecting manufacturing facilities. Answer. B. Question 479. Which of the following is the primary function of a pharmacy professional? A. Diagnosing medical conditions. B. Prescribing medications. C. Dispensing medications. D. Performing surgeries. Answer. C. Dispensing medications. Question 480. What is the purpose of the Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan DRAP? A. Conducting clinical trials. B. Monitoring drug prices. C. Regulating drug manufacturing and marketing. D. Providing medical education. Answer. C. Regulating drug manufacturing and marketing. Question 481. Which law governs the licensing and registration of pharmacies and pharmacists in Pakistan? A. Drug Act, 1976. B. Pharmacy Practice Act, 1999. C. Drug Regulatory Act, 2012. D. Pharmacy Act, 1967. Answer. D. Pharmacy Act, 1967. Question 482. The abbreviation, OTC, in pharmacy stands for A. Over the counter B. Outside the clinic C. Order to collect D. On time care Answer. A. Over the counter Question 483. Which class of drug is most likely to be abused due to its potential for producing dependence? A. Class 1 B. Class 2 C. Class 3. D. Class 4. Answer. B. Class 2. Question 484. The process of converting a physical prescription into an electronic format for easier storage and retrieval is known as A. E. Prescribing. B. Digital Dispensing. C. Cyberfilling. D. E. Medication. Answer. A. E. Prescribing. Question 485. Adverse Drug Reaction ADR reporting is essential for A. Promoting sales of drugs B. Identifying new drug interactions C. Monitoring drug safety and efficacy D. Reducing prescription errors Answer. C. Monitoring drug safety and efficacy Question 486. Medication Therapy Management MTM primarily focuses on A. Compounding medications B. Preventing medication errors C. Optimizing medication use for patient benefit D. Providing drug samples to patients Answer. C. Optimizing medication use for patient benefit Question 487 The Orange Book is maintained by the FDA and contains information about A. Drug interactions B. Approved drug products with therapeutic equivalence evaluations C. Clinical trial results D. Prescription drug pricing Answer. B. Approved drug products with therapeutic equivalence evaluations Question 488 The Good Dispensing Practices Primarily aim to ensure A. Patient counseling B. Accurate and safe dispensing of medications C. Generous medication dispensing to patients D. Drug affordability Answer. B. Accurate and safe dispensing of medications Question 489 Which schedule of drugs includes medications with the lowest potential for abuse? A. Schedule 1. B. Schedule 2. C. Schedule 3. D. Schedule 5. Answer. D. Schedule 5. Question 490. The term, PRN, on a prescription indicates. A. Prescription refill not allowed. 
B. As needed. C. Patient review necessary. D. Prescription required now. Answer. B. As needed. Question 491. Which of the following organizations sets international standards for pharmaceutical products? A. WHO, World Health Organization. B. FDA, Food and Drug Administration. C. CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. D. NIH, National Institutes of Health. Answer. A. WHO, World Health Organization. Question 492. The responsibility of a pharmacist to maintain patient confidentiality is an example of A. Beneficence B. Autonomy C. Non-maleficence D. Fidelity Answer. D. Fidelity Question 493. Which drug recall class indicates a situation where the use of or exposure to a violative product may cause serious adverse health consequences or death? A. Class 1. B. Class 2. C. Class 3. D. Class 4. Answer. A. Class 1. Question 494. In the United States, the Poison Prevention Packaging Act requires the use of child-resistant packaging for A. Over-the-counter medications only. B. Prescription medications only. C. Both prescription and over-the-counter medications. D. Herbal supplements and vitamins. Answer. C. Both prescription and over-the-counter medications. Question 495. In the case of a medication error, what is the first step a pharmacist should take? A. Document the error. B. Inform the patient. C. Report the incident to the appropriate authority. D. Consult with a senior pharmacist. Answer. A. Document the error. Question 496. The process of combining two or more medications into a single dosage form is known as A. Drug interaction B. Medication reconciliation C. Drug compounding D. Drug formulation Answer. C. Drug compounding Question 497 The Drug Enforcement Administration DIA, is responsible for a. Conducting drug research. B. Monitoring drug pricing. C. Regulating controlled substances in the United States. D. Approving new drugs for marketing. Answer. C. Regulating controlled substances in the United States. Question 498. Which of the following drugs is classified as a Schedule I controlled substance? A. Morphine. B. Codeine. C. Heroin. D. Oxycodone. Answer. C. Heroin. Question 499. MedWatch is a program run by the FDA for A. Investigational drug monitoring. B. Reporting adverse events and product problems associated with drugs. C. Distributing free drug samples. D. Conducting drug recalls. Answer. B. Reporting adverse events and product problems associated with drugs. Question 500. The Therapeutic Goods Administration, TGA, is the regulatory authority for drugs and medical devices in A. Canada. B. Australia. C. India. D. United Kingdom. Answer. B. Australia.